Aziz Light. Aziz Light. Aziz Light. Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Okay, let's continue with SEK2, shall we? And let's see. Uh, time to get our bearings again. Uh, we were basically just expanding out to the point of... Things were starting to speed up as we expand our new base, uh, which is going to become our main base on Hagen. We've got delivery cannons bringing us all the goods. We've... that's not a lot of coal. Uh, what's going on with coal on Narvis, I wonder? Delivery cannons have plenty of coal. Maybe we just need to deliver a bit more frequent. Zetius, Skyber Skyburner, Talon Grandmaster, uh, Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I have a signal, I have a timer over here. We're only getting the cannons to fire once every 7,200 ticks or, uh, every, what is it, 120 seconds, two minutes. Uh, how's our power on Nalvis? Because that's the reason we bottlenecked this. Uh, let's see. Steam is completely full. That's a pretty good sign. Um, I'm going to... You can see the spikes from firing the cannons here. It will happen at night time sometimes. But judging by this, I'm thinking we could probably even double it. And... We shouldn't have too many problems. So, 7,200 over 2, 3,600. Uh, I think that's one minute. Yeah, one minute. We are firing the cannons once per minute. And we should have some, some shells coming in now, actually. Hi, I was looking at the record and saw that you had a problem with the inserters. You have them in a steel chest. Put them to the red chest together with the other things you have in the steel chests. Oh, as in I have more inserters here that I didn't realize I have. Uh, how about blue inserters? Uh, yes indeed. That is a few more inserters. I'll take that. Um, we have some storage chests. I'll just tell the bots in the network to deconstruct. Fantastic. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. Uh, we have a one core miner. We could have two, but I want to get the iron out of the way first. There's another drill uh, core mine up here, or core seam. We can definitely set up a mine for that. And I should probably grab more of the concrete and plaster that all over the place. Since we're getting that from Nalvis, it's not much of a problem. Okay, drill goes here, and I think the obvious place to put a mine would, uh, to put a pickup, rather, would be right about here. Um, actually, I don't think the train is going to fit too well that way. Let's just put the station down so we can see where our four length trains are going to fit. Perfect. And then get rid of some of these. 
so that we can place our bulk rail loaders. Cool. Uh, and then we'll use a delivery cannon chest because it's 3x3. Three three. Uh, so the bulk rail loaders can take from that as a balancer. Um, I'm sure we don't need blue belt for this, actually. As that'll start to become more rare than the red belts for a while. Um, what's our rate from this? 7.5, yeah. It's quite slow. Let's go for standard pickup station. Provide stack threshold 80. Cryonite core fragment pickup. Connect the containers to the train stop input. And that'll be that. That actually fits really nicely. We could have a regular block here. Um, we should definitely tap this coal mine as well. And let me make some rail. Get this stone out of my inventory. As I pick up even more. Fantastic. I need more steel beams now. Can we actually handcraft a uh, steel plate from... From ingots? I think we can. Maybe I should carry a stack of steel ingots. Um, but first I need to pick up some more rail. I believe we have that automated here. Fantastic. Gonna need more space in my inventory. Also going to need some power over here. And... Make some more room. Alright, let's go back and resupply. Morning all, RF Holloway. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I definitely want to tap the uranium mine so we can start using our nuclear power without worrying about it running out. Not that we don't have enough power off of renewables for the moment. Um, let's make some room. Before the bots take stuff, we'll jump away. Hey, Evil Plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, is Chlorine okay? Let's have a look. I think it was stuck at 44k earlier. Yeah, everything's at 44k because we don't have sand. Um, there's a stone... There's like three stone mines that we can tap over this way. Stone is a bit of a problem on this planet. Uh, core fragments are giving us a bit of sand and stone. Oh, we've nearly got a train load, actually. But, uh, okay, that's a lot of stone, actually. Well, relatively. Um, it won't last that long, but... Apparently, we need a block to make sand. I think I've got that on Nalvis, actually. Um, I'll just copy-paste this. And where do I want to put it? Can we fit it here? We actually... Uh, sort of... Where, where does it go? We need a little bit of landfill, but yes, yes we can. Uh, 
I wouldn't mind putting it close to... Uh, close to here, actually. If I have the sand pick up here, the train can literally just... take a very short trip. Um, so why don't I copy instead the actual build part? No, it's extremely simple. And I'll put that around about here. I need to make a complicated blueprint for this one, I think. Uh, we actually need an unloader. And move this over a little bit. We'll get... Uh, what's our throughput going to be, actually? Do I have some pulverizers back here? I think I do. We've got three. That's weird. Usually I expect zero or lots. Uh, I might just go place a bunch of this rail before we leave, though. Um, I actually need some more over here. since I want to build out towards that mine. Hmm, I'm carrying more rail than I realized. Oh, here's a little scrap of uranium that I didn't even notice. Is it still just sulfuric acid that we need to drill it? I think it is. Uranium... sulfuric acid. Okay. Still got like 1900 rail. Uh, I don't want to collide with that iron mine. Let's head out this way. Maybe I should make a construction train. I think we have every... I, I think we have the technology at this point. I wonder how many roboports I could cram into it. How much range it would have with tier 1 roboports. Will you put the accumulators? Uh, I, th I have a few. Not that many. How many accumulators do I have? 300. Um, I really just brought them in case I need to measure the power network. For the most part. Okay, let's see. That's a decent fit, I think. Oh, that's a perfect fit. A lot? Wait, what's a lot? 300? It's a start. 
it's more than enough for the purpose of... I, I need to check how much power is in the network at a place. I don't think I'll be running out of them for that purpose. We're going to run out of frail. Oops, I missed a little bit of roundabout. Very important. Yeah, we actually estimated our rail quite well here. In fact, we've got 127 left. Alright, let's get our drills in place. Don't think we need blue belt for this one. here, sort of. I wonder. Not really. Let's just do it here. Uh, loader. About there, I think. That's a bit much. delivery cannon chest and then we're just gonna put each of these belts into the chest do I not have loaders here they are don't think we need that one more. Already fixed that. Seems good. Can I make some wind turbines? I cannot. I'll have to come back here to confirm it's all connected properly. We need a provider. Stone pickup. Missing one belt? Ah, oh, tree. We could probably do without a couple of these mines. All right. Uh, maybe another one up here. And we'll need some power. Uh, I think I would like to grab our standard rail block blueprint and just remove some stuff from it so we can get uh, so that we can get the highway let's see I 
don't know if what I have in mind for the snap to grid is going to work that well, actually. We'll see. Might need a bit of finagling. enough. I'm leaving that up there for a reason. And we'll just have regular signals. And then I want to have snap to grid 8624. And then we'll get rid of all of this. Probably gonna miss a spot. Alright, let's see how that looks. A couple more things down here. Now, is that going to snap the way I want it to? It is. And we can even rotate it. Although... If it's... On the right or on the bottom, it doesn't actually work. Coke is nice. Coke is nice. Uh, I might have to make another version for the southern end, but we'll see. Nope. And that's what we actually need here. God damn it. Because the reason it's like this is um, to, s to have the snap to grid in the very middle, uh, it would have to be odd numbers of offsets, and that just doesn't work with the rail. Hissing Walnuts, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, can we maybe put this down here? And make the opposite version of it? Step to grid, absolute, 86.24, and get rid of all of these. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so that's going to go... Uh, here. I'm just going to name these upper left, lower right, and then we can go have a nice, neat uh, highway here that's going to fit when we fill these blocks in later, except that it's going to have some regular signals where there should be chain signals, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, do we not have power poles? I guess we're out of power poles. And I don't think we've been getting... Uh-oh, what's with our power? Our power is dead. What happened? 14.8 megawatts. There's no input fuel? Uh... Okay. You know what? We're gonna start burning some uranium. 
or, or not. Hello? Oh, wow. That is a little bit slow. You can do it. I believe in you, little inserter. The little inserter that could. We're counting on you. You got this. Any second now. And... Insert... Fuel. Beautiful. Low on power, just a little bit. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened, actually. Oh. Uh, remember that time I added a... Core mining drill? Earlier today? It could have something to do with it. Maybe just a little. Um, and that is an example of where I could use some accumulators. Uh, so where did I put them? Here they are. I might just limit... Um, I can't... I can't circuit wire a loader, can I? No. Just follow this belt for a bit and go to this corner where we can connect circuit wire. And we are simply going to only let uh, core fragments through if Accumulator charge is full. And it'll there'll be a little bit of a delay. Oh wait, it's putting into a chest. Uh that's a lot more of a delay. There we go. Uh there'll be a little of a little bit of a delay, but that'll effectively switch off the core miner if we're low on power. And up here as well. Where are we going? Uh, right about here. If accumulated charge is full. I think I may have set that other one up wrong. There we go. I mean, this one. If A greater than zero, that's not what we want. Although, it's still stopping it for the moment. Uh, okay, so the core mining drills are not going to be functioning. Uh, if we're low on power. And I think I will, I'm going to do it in a way that I can see it's obvious that I deliberately switched this off and I know how to change it back. Uh, we'll set it up so that we're not going to take used up fuel cells out of this reactor. Therefore, we're not going to put more fuel in until I have a supply. Uh, I'm only going to use this in emergencies. Why is the heat dropping? Because it's being transferred over here. Is that actually enough? Uh, to get... These things started? I don't think it is. I think we need two. Okay. No renewable power at all. Uh, the trouble with... Um, what is it called? Uh, biomethanol is it requires power to get power. Not like solar panels. If your power system crashes, it's gonna... It, it can have a death spiral unless you have some safety 
features in place. Which I don't really have. We've got wind turbines everywhere, and we've got the biomethanol. It's just not enough since I plugged in that extra coal miner. Okay, power's looking healthy again. Fantastic. Oh. This is working at... 400 degrees? I didn't know it could do that. 415 degrees. I guess that's K2 steam turbines for you. All right then. Uh, what was I coming back here? I needed to see why we were not getting iron gear wheels. Is that all? Aren't we making iron gear wheels here? We're trying to. But we don't have the prerequisite system with this one. Um, I could take iron from somewhere. Like here, actually. Nice and easy. No need for logi bots for this one. And move this thing over. Fantastic. We're not really powering everything with wind turbines. It's more like it mitigates the cost. Um, although it does usually produce a bit more power than the idle cost of the machines in a block. Okay. Uh, we need some power poles, which I don't think we've got here. I mean, we've got the auto crafter trying to make them, but there we go. And how many am I missing here? We need about... Uh, 30 big power poles. It seems to be swapping recipe rather abruptly. Let's alter the mod settings again. Um, I think I'll set it to like 10 seconds as long as we're still um, messing around with crafting combinators uh, with the auto crafting design and stuff I don't want it to take too long to refresh but I do want it to overshoot its target a bit and uh, not flicker from one recipe to the next all the time Okay. We still don't have any big poles. What's going on? Steel beam. Is it in the logistic network? It is not. Um, I can do that right here. How about... Oops. Steel beam. And I might just do that. Steel plate from ingot. No? Oh, that's iron plate. Steel plate from ingot. Fantastic. Where 
Alright. Probably helps if we have more than zero steel beams. We did have it automated down here, but we tore that up. Okay. I'm not really interested in adding more spaghetti to this. I just want to have enough stuff to build. Uh, I don't suppose we're making... We could definitely do... Um... We could definitely do our power poles over here. There's a bit of a tiered system of prerequisites for this one, however, all of these prerequisites just go in natural order. It's only that we have to do the, the stuff in the manufacturing tab and then lights for the rest of it. Uh, lights need wire, which is over here. I think we've found something that's going to be a problem for this prerequisite system. Subicon when? Uh, soon, TM? I've actually got some emotes coming, but I'm still waiting on them. Kellogg's, thank you for the three months. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, so if I put... I mean, we're going to put copper wire here in the prerequisite place. Um, but the thing is, we need lamp to be in the prerequisites. But copper cable needs to be a prerequisite to the lamp. And it's going to try to make the lamps first. So, we, yeah, we actually have found something that's going to confound our prereq system here. Unless I add an exception for it. I guess there's not going to be too many exceptions uh, for this system. I could just have... Decider Combinator... Uh, if lamps less than something... If lamp's greater than something... Hmm. It's actually kind of annoying. Glass... I don't... Yeah, we do have glass. I can't really put lamps in the prereq side because it depends on copper cable. So I guess lamps on this side. Uh, say 200. And then a decider combinator to say don't make the lighted power poles if uh, if we don't have lamps. Or maybe do make the light, lighted power poles if we have lamps. Uh, medium poles need small, but big poles don't need medium. Do we have red circuits here? We do not. Not yet. Okay. So, small electric pole, medium, uh, big pole, and substation. And for now I'll just steal some red circuits to put in here. I'm pretty sure we hadn't got there yet, there were a, a surprising number of steps to get to advanced circuits. Uh, let's see, red circuits. And... Toss them in there. 
We're still making inserters. Hmm. Can we stop with the inserters just to test this? And then we want to read from what we've got. If lights, a uh, lamp is greater than 200, then go ahead and try to make lighted power poles. And I think that will go here. All right, so that should work. How many lamps do we have? Zero, because we're going to make all the poles first. My favorite cozy stream, early morning EU tea time. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, alright. So now we need a million iron sticks to support our power poles. Uh, after 10 seconds, it'll switch over to small poles, or not. We'll just give that a minute and see how it goes. We should have a bunch of power poles over here, though. 23. That's almost as many as we need. Fantastic. Um, are the bots going to bring them? Only if I ask them to. I don't have power poles in a steel chest, do I? You know what, I can make the passive providers. I should probably just upgrade these chests. I should definitely do that. It's only 10 advanced circuits. Oh. Oh, that's bigger than I meant to make. Oh no. Um... Well, we could probably... It's only double the size of one of these. Uh, it's actually less space efficient. The bigger chests. Don't really need that. I think I actually went too far. Whatever. Any more of these steel chests? Not worried about that one. Okay, and I don't really need these clogging up my inventory for the moment. Apparently my requests say I do. Let's get rid of this one for now. Okay, so we have 23 big poles still. Can I make some more? I need big poles and lamps, copper, mostly copper cable, I think. Fantastic. And we got some random turbines. Ideally today I'd like to get utility science, but that is probably a bit of a stretch. If we skip all the previous sciences and use the science that we brought over here, 
Maybe. So we should finally be able to get power over here. Fantastic. And that'll be our stone. Uh, we didn't actually finish our sand build. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I was coming back for pulverizers, which we only have three of, weirdly enough. Pulverizer. Uh, how many do we have? Three. We need exactly four. And away we go. Away go the bots. We're not going that far. It's fine. I'm surprised how quickly those windmills are getting built. Uh, okay. So I want a delivery cannon chest. What's our current rate here? It's only 24 stone in. So we'll just do a pair of unloaders here. And how much sand comes out? Uh, two red belts. So we can just merge that. splitting. Oh, that lines up pretty well. Let's go. Nice. I think we are ready. Alright, we need this to be a requester. forgot. Um, the pickup for stone should be... should specify that this is a finite resource that we don't want to trash. So I'm pretty sure I had that as encoded network ID 1. Yes. Uh, and it's encoded network ID 2 at the storages. No? Oh, that's a pickup. Wait, what? Oh, I see. This station is ID 2. The pickups are ID 1 so that the trains don't go in circles. So, that's correct. Yeah, so encoded network ID 1 means this is a finite resource. Do not Throw it into storage and trash it, eventually. 
in the case of a drop-off, we do want to check what's in this chest. And I think the only thing we need to do now is ask for some stone. A couple of train loads. Give it some power. And that should be it. What are we missing over here? Some trees. And over here we need some chemical plants. And some signals. Uh, I'm sure we have signals automated. We've just run out of them. Okay. Rail signals. Don't have green circuits. Uh-oh. Uh, that's fine. We've got green circuits in the rail network. Um, I'll just manually bring some over. Since we want to be moving away from our old little bit of spaghetti here. Okay, green circuits go. Butts had something to do apparently. The butts have more to do apparently. O okay, this is getting out of hand. Please come back. Now then. And I'll keep some green circuits for myself. Let the bots take them. Do we have trains coming for this stuff? Or has it already been delivered? It Now we do. No path, actually. Let's see where the problem is. You should have a path. Where are you trying to go to? Oh. Wait, what? They're picking it up from the active provider for the stone, from the infinite source. So they just don't actually have a path to drop off the rail. Because there's no roundabout. What was that sound? Spooky. Uh, where am I going? Up here. Okay. Roundabout go burr. And the train should be on its way. Fantastic. Two of them, actually. From each of the stone pickups. From core mining. Alright, so that'll be our sand, which will be our chlorine, which will be our... Well, sorry, not chlorine, hydrogen chloride. Uh, but also chlorine. Which will be our lithium chloride, which will be our lithium. Uh, and what did we need lithium for? I believe it was red circuits. Uh... Did we have a red circuit build already? I don't think so. R lithium went into something else, though, for the red circuits, right? Uh, electronic components. It's not strictly required. But there's a better recipe for electronic components. 
uh, that requires lithium. And it saves us some resources for all of the other three. Or am I misremembering? No, here it is. Plastic, glass, silicon, lithium for 10, 3, 3, 3, and 3. Or 2, 2, and 2 makes 4 without lithium. Uh, plastic, glass, silicon. Plastic, glass, silicon, lithium. Fantastic. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that actually sort of weirdly reminds me. Uh, yesterday, Uvim asked for a name in base. Let's go sort that out. Um, yeah, so I had some questions about your autocraft MO. Why you were dealing with the negative numbers. It seemed like you didn't actually want to check what's in the robo network unless it's completely out of it and the bots are trying to move it. Uh, here we have our small glass text plates. I'll leave a chest of it up here so we don't have to go looking for it. Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, small glass text plate. Here we go. Fantastic. At least that's what I think it was. Bots were giving negative numbers when they move items. Yeah, and you had... I think it was each less than zero coming from the uh, RoboPort, so I assumed you only wanted... A as far as the input from the RoboPort is concerned, you only wanted the AutoCrafter to look at items that the Robo Network was totally out of. Or am I wrong? Whoops. Um, all right, what are we what are we making next? Some chemical plants would be nice. Do we have those here? Can we get those here? Chemical plant. Uh, we need glass, stone, pipe, steel beam, electric motor. I think we can. Let's just try it. Does it have any prereqs that are on this list here? Yes. Oh, we do have chemical plants. Or at least we're trying to have chemical plants. We don't have concrete. Uh... Okay. I mean, concrete is in the network, in the rail network. But it's just an issue of having room in the storage for it. Hmm, I could put another big container here and move the assembler over a bit. I think I might do that. That should be more than enough for all the basic resources that we want to put in. Because we can fit another, what, eight, probably, uh... Coming from the rail network. Oops. And like this as well. We are going to need another cargo landing pad. A thousand steel, a thousand concrete is the main thing. Hmm. A thousand steel, a thousand concrete. Uh, and we need a bunch of radars. Do we have automation cores? I know we do. Fantastic. Now we need more steel. Uh, 
Okay, that's enough of that. Whoops, too many. Never mind. Um, we require just a thousand, a thousand. Don't have any bots here. I don't have to worry about them taking my stuff. Give me all the steel plate. That's actually almost a thousand. And concrete. Uh, maybe not that much. Actually, let me just pave the world once we're done handcrafting this. Give me more steel, if we have it. We have 30. That's not quite enough. 40. 48. We're looking for 74. Um, I could maybe go elsewhere for the steel. I have a new idea for the autocrafter, where each array crafts a stage. For example, stage one is stone furnace. The second array can craft a steel furnace because it needs a stone furnace, etc. Uh, yeah, that's what I do when I... Uh, when I have multiple autocrafters, I have them each pick one out of a list of stuff we're trying to craft at the moment. Uh, and that has a way of getting around the prerequisite problem. Um, Alright, so there's our cargo landing pad, which means... We can pave the world with the rest of the concrete that we happen to have. Fantastic. Uh, I don't have my RoboPod activated. That would probably help. And then we need a second train stop to drop off concrete. One, two, three, one, two, I think is how that goes. Nope. Oh, wait. Possibly yes. Fantastic. Uh, connect the logistic train stop input. Make it a requester station. Um, I had these separate because I thought I was going to request a lot of things here. But it didn't really turn out that way. So we're just going to go... Concrete, one train load, which is 8,000, put it in as a negative, and then we need some power, and then we just need loaders to bring this over here. Also, oh yeah, we do need to read from here. So let's put our substation this way. And that looks a bit tacky, but what are you going to do? Um, as long as we're only bringing in one resource, I'll just do it this way. Oh, I... Where did my red belts go? Auto... I mean fast loader. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't realize we need concrete for big poles. Exactly. Yes, yes, for the autocrafter. I think you will end up with four arrays max. Yeah, I actually had, like, uh, several of them. Like, it's not strictly necessary, but... Uh, the more of these that you make in parallel, 
the faster the autocrafter can catch up with lots of different things being requested at the same time. And it also, again, gets around prerequisites unless you have lots of prerequisites at the same time. This one doesn't have power. It does now. Alright. And chemical plants. Uh, we're still trying to catch up with power poles. Well, I'll... Do we need stone for any of this stuff? It's only repair packs, isn't it? I'll just shove the stone in here. What's the harm? Okay. So what are we doing next? Is this train okay? No path. Because I don't have a signal up here. Also, we're missing a bunch of chain signals over that way. Away we go. For a second there, I thought the cryonite was radioactive. Keep adding signals in this until this train can move. Where are our signals missing? Oh, way over here. What's the harm in before a hundred hours in trying to find out why his autocrafter isn't doing its job? Indeed. <laughs> Good morning. Own Galaxy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Train should be moving now, or not. Uh, we don't have signals up there either. This This should do it now, I think. No? Let's have a look and see exactly where this train can get to. Oh, it can't actually go forward here at all. Oh, I think if this was two tiles to the right, the train would be fine. But it can't actually... I think this might be sticking out. No, that's not right. Yeah, the train doesn't usually go this way. So we actually need a signal there. I'm using that mod that allows roboports in trains and other vehicles. Uh, do you mean... Vehicle Equipment Grid? I love that mod. Uh... How are you still unable... Okay. I'd rather not have too much that's, like, non-standard in this roundabout. That should be more noticeable to change it. I have a nice build train now. Nice. Isn't it part of K2 anyway? Yeah, I was going to say K2 has some as well. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the mod that I've used in the past, you could you could get shields on a car, which was really nice. And you could also put exoskeleton legs in the car. Um, so you, you could have a car that was fast and didn't take damage from bumping into trees. Well, although that was before Spider-Trons, so it felt like more of a luxury then, by comparison. Um, but with the uh, with the K2 stuff, we can't put adaptive armor on cars, for example, and shields are a long way away, so sad. No, no enjoying cars this playthrough. I 
I found that trains with robo-ports don't really work that well. They have long gaps between their working cycles. Uh, what do you mean by working cycles? Like when they check to see if they can do something? Alright, so that's our send. Um, what was the next step where we need... Oh yeah, yeah, electronic components. Is where we need lithium. Alright, so time to do a build for that. And just to be sure, I'll delete this. Um, actually, we want this one more than likely. It's four solids going in. So yes, this will be the build. We'll build it around a beacon. So that we could upgrade it later in theory. And... It's not making any sound. That's weird. We do have sound. Okay, that feels better. One, two, three. Electronic component. Should be pretty slow, I imagine. Oh yeah, that's really slow. So we need two products in on each... Uh, we need two belts in, one belt out. Which, considering how slow it is, we should be able to get away with double belts in like this. Shared on each side. I'm not even going to worry about... Um, actually, yellow belt. A yellow inserter should be fine here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about... Oh, wait, 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 wait. These two in the middle aren't going to be good. Uh, what if instead we do the double inputs on this side? We could do sushi. But Okay, I'm really tempted to do sushi because it's slow and all of the inputs are equal. C can we have a little sushi as a treat? Uh, we're going to need a bigger container just so that we have room for all of the inputs and outputs. And it's uh, four inputs for, uh, from each resource. Probably going to be neater if we do it like this. What you reckon is a good train size in orbit? Uh, I'm going to do the same thing in orbit. I'm really liking these train sizes because, uh, the rail block and train sizes, because it fills trains up quite quickly. Um, but it's not like, it's, it's still like a good, uh, it's not like we're wasting train trips all the time. The trains accelerate faster as well. Captain True, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yay, sushi. I'm glad you're happy with it. Okay, so we are going to do... Uh, plastic, glass, silicon, lithium. Glass, silicon, lithium. That's not right. This is one way to do it. And copy that across. And then we go... Uh, 
plastic. Uh, smaller than whatever. Glass. Silicon. Uh, this should be a red wire because we're going to want to tell LTN what's in this chest as well as the loaders. Did I get that right? Looks like it. Okay. We have 256 stacks, 4 resources. Let's call it 60 stacks per resource. Uh, so... 600 plastic. Uh, half of that. For glass. Or, no, double that for glass. Well, it's all the same ratio, though. What are the stack sizes here? 50, 50... Whatever. It's stack sizes that we're more concerned about. Well, no, it's not. We should request the same amount of all of these from the train network. But we'll just go by the smallest stack size. Uh, so we can fit eight train loads in here, and we've got this as well, so I think we'll go two train loads of each. Uh, plastic is 16k, glass is 32k, wait, no, I was going to go with whatever, it's fine. Uh, train loads make more sense in terms of thinking about when the trains have to move. On second thought, two train loads of silicon, two train loads of lithium, and if we set plastic and glass to the same amount, we need to set it a bit higher than one train load though. We'll set it so that a train comes when we're down to 4,000 of anything. And 4,000 should last quite a while. Without the beacon, we're looking at uh, 370 seconds. Now I want the stack size mod, indeed. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Me too looks super useful, right? You can do it in vanilla uh, with relative ease. If you turn on uh, debug information, you can see it here. But it's even with that, it's so much more convenient just being able to mouse over it and see the stack size. I think this should be part of vanilla. A thousand percent. Alright, lithium. So in terms of filling up this chest, I think I want to go by stack size though. So what was it? 60 stacks of each. And... That would mean 3,000 for these two. And we're going to copy that down to here. And just to make sure we test it. Glass, plastic, lithium, and silicon. That's not what I meant to do. but it's actually kind of an easier way to do it. And it should stop, like, 
12 stacks short-ish of filling this up and leave room for whatever input is coming. And then we need to go with... Some special sushi belts. Gonna look something like this. Input goes here, output goes here. Uh, we bottleneck through only one of the belt sections on this splitter. And then it could be on either side actually. Uh, and then we priority input on this side. Oh, sorry, on this side. Uh, the stuff we are recycling. All of that to say that we want to get 50% of whatever's coming in to this splitter and output it. Uh, and we priority the recycled stuff um, so it doesn't sort of get stuck. And then we're going to have to do that for, well, first of all, we're going to have to filter the outputs here. So that we can get specific resources on specific sides of the belt. Uh, let's just go with what we did here. Fantastic. Actually, I kind of want it to match up with this side. Can I do this? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so... We need... The opposite on this side. What am I doing? I'm confusing myself. There we go. And then we need to do this thing twice. Hmm, could I maybe... Nope. I guess... This is as good as it gets. And then we merge them together. And so we get uh, one of each item, or rather two of each item on each section of belt. Block off that side. Okay. Witchcraft, indeed. Uh, so then we just need to run this past everything. How much throughput do we need? Only 10... 11 per second for each resource, which means... More than half of a red belt. Maybe it's not sushi slow <laughs> in the end. Um, because of the space that it takes up to get this many resources together. Uh, let's see. We have 15 per second on each half of the belt. That's 7.5 per second for each resource. So, we would need to double this. Blue belt it. Uh, if we blue belt... Uh, we need... Yeah, 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 blue belt should be enough. You're right. I think you're right about that. We won't be upgrading it with beacons if we do this, though. 
but we should get 11 point, uh, 11 and an eighth, uh, items per second for each item. And if we're on blue machines, that, that'll be enough. Good morning, get it done. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is up is we are making a gratuitous sushi design. And I think I will actually turn this around. Uh, so we are going with... This over here. Wait, what? Oh, that is plastic on both sides. The shadow makes it look weird. And red wire, like so. Green wire, like so. Fantastic. Thoughts on the belt icon change? Uh, my thoughts are, I'm glad I'm not dealing with it. This is much more easy to read. I'm doing it, I'm un... Wait, what? I don't even notice it anymore? Well. Uh, McVeggie, thank you for the re-follow, I guess? It didn't trigger the, uh... Oh, uh, whatchamacallit. The sound effect, though. I don't think it... I don't think Twitch is, uh, analytics like it either. From what I've heard. That's weird. We've got a diagonal uh, pattern here. Okay, so... I guess... Hold on, can we actually have two belts of output from this? Did I do this for nothing? We've got one belt, two belts. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to have two belts from this. I needn't have worried. Uh, except we will need to recycle those two belts. Is the only thing. So they need to be able to come back... around. Um, I could... Where am I going to do it? Output is going to be slow no matter what. We can always get away with long arm inserters for that. We'll have a delivery cannon chest here. Put this in the middle. Long arms on this side. And maybe recycled stuff can go back up here. That almost lines up perfectly. And so then this goes here. This goes here. I don't care about preserving which side of the belt things are on after they've gone past the inputs. in the wrong place, isn't it? I thought that looked a bit asymmetrical. Or 
that maybe we should have that merge properly. Let's have a splitter. Is that going to be okay? We'll see. Let's power it up. Oh, and we can actually... Oh, there's not going to be output on this side. Goes there. And I think it would be easiest to just... Bring that down like so. Don't tell me that's not going to reach. Oh, perfect. It's actually one shot of max distance. Alright, so substations are going to have to go here, I think. Wait, wasn't that going to reach? Nope, not quite. Almost. Insert a line in wrong place. Oh, this one? Indeed. And up here... I'll do. Alright, so that's power, and this needs power as well. May as well put it here. Okay, now why is this busted? Because it doesn't have an output. Why isn't. Oh, I see. Give me some more undergrounds. There we go. And then we need some actual power here. Fantastic. Sushi is not working properly. Uh, we're about to find out. Jakku Baz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The sushi looks weird. It was because the flow wasn't going at full speed. Um, why is this not building? There's no lithium. What the? Okay, that's definitely not right. Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if we put it through another splitter. Look at that. We go glass lithium. Oh, sorry, glass silicon, lithium plastic, and then it turns into glass plastic, lithium silicon, and then if we split it again, it goes back to glass lithium, li uh, the, the first one. Like magic, witchcraft, indeed. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be able to do two belts of output this way. Um, I think we're stuck with one belt, which means this isn't going to be very upgradable. On the other hand... We could clean up the way we do the circuit a bit. going to look a lot neater this way.
Yeah, that should work just fine. To upgrade, you will need one tile of melt twice faster than blue. Uh, yeah, it depends on how fast we end up going with more beacons. Speaking of which, if I want to make room for smaller beacons, I better move these substations. Actually. Um, we could actually just put them here. Oh, wait. The whole point was to make room for bacon. Let's do that. And that. And that. And in the middle. And this would go here. How did this happen? Isn't that the middle of these ones? Uh, I guess we could do it like that. And this would go here. So we could put... Wide beacon here eventually, little baby beacons go here, 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 and so on. That seems good. Uh, and yeah, I did kind of forget that we can go faster than blue belts. Uh, we can go up to 90 items per second. When we upgrade, we'll have prod modules, so the input won't scale the same way as the output does. So that might actually be decent. Do you have the tech to use this recipe? What do you mean? Um, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, let's see. Electronic component. No! Lithium associated fabrication. Energy one. Oh no. Those belts are Crastorio thing? Uh, I believe so, yes. Okay, I guess. I guess we're redesigning our lithium. Uh, our electronic components again. But we won't have to change that much. Uh, electronic components. Not so basic electronic components. 86, 24, train stop names. I don't think I did the stations yet. I just won't worry about it for now. And remove the cheat items. Okay, put that in here for later. And then we'll just remove... Was it lithium? Uh, I believe it's lithium. There's no way I'm making it so that we can just upgrade this to the later recipe later on, is there? Or is there? What if we keep the same layout? Two for four seconds, three for ten seconds. That's not going to be that different. Oops. Rate calc, we need 18 per second of three resources. Yeah, that's not really going to work. Okay. Rip sushi. Um, 
We're gonna need double belt inputs. It's still sensible to have the inputs and outputs where they are because of beacon. Wait, there's another recipe with SE? Yes, indeed. Uh, Alright, so we want... Something like this. And flip that around for this side. All three resources are the same rate. Maybe I'll make it a half belt for the third resource so that we can upgrade this to use lithium. That might be good. Uh, how much do we need? 18 per second, that is almost, it's more than half a red belt. So we need blue belts here. There's so much change from pure K2. I can imagine. Uh, Alright, so we are going to have this shape actually coming out of here. And then... Half a belt for each. Yeah, that should be fine. Make those blue. And then... I might just snake this in and out over here. Uh, as long as we're doing that. Could we perhaps make it a bit more like this? And make this a little bit neater. Hmm, actually... That looks pretty good. Oh, but we didn't leave room for beacons. Uh, can we even do that for basic beacons? Probably not. I'm just not going to worry about it. Your connection? Okay. Oppom? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... I think I will request the lithium so it's just there. And we can easily upgrade this to the later recipe. Um, so we are requesting plastic, glass, silicon, and lithium. Oh, that's not lithium. I don't think we have silicon in the rail network. So I'll have to do a build for that as well. Oh, and I forgot my naming convention for this run. We're going to have assembly machine making a 
electronic components. So we know what this station is for when we see it in the train schedule. And the output is much simpler. Component. Uh, where is components? Manufacturing. Electronic components provider. Looks like it's working just fine, as expected. Good morning, can you notice me, Senpai? Andy Gaming? Consider yourself noticed. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I think that's it. I think that's our build. And I'll just double check, but I'm sure we have to do one for silicon now. I don't think we have glass in the rail network on this planet yet, either. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I slept 12 hours, so I think... I, I hope I'm beginning to catch up. 86.24 is our snap to grid. Electronic components... Lovely, I slept five. Oh no. I don't have caffeine today, so it's just as well that I slept that much, I guess. Train stop names. And there we go. And that's going to go down here. Okay, so glass, plastic... Uh, I don't think we have glass. We don't have plastic. We don't have silicon. Yeah, but we do have lithium. Hooray! Uh, yeah, we've... Oh, we do have plastic. I'm standing right next to it. Do we have, uh, chemical plants here yet? We're still trying... Where's our power? What is up with our power? Let's see. We're only getting power from wind turbines. The gas power stations have completely stopped. Wow. Uh, and what is consuming all of this? What? What? Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? What the? <laughs> um. Why? What just happened with our power? It's alive again, kind of. What? I'm guessing we got a burst of... something. Finished 4am this morning. Ouch. Um, can anyone tell me why... why our power would do this? That's really strange to me. Let's use the nuclear power that we're about to run out of. And I guess we should step away from, uh, we should probably step away from working towards red circuits for a minute, get some, uh, sulfuric acid. I don't think I have a rail build for sulfuric acid yet. Because normally I do like all the oil products in one block, but this time I decided to do something a bit more consistent, not to mention neat. Alright, so now we're doing a sulfuric acid build before we even get to build this. Uh, sulfuric acid is very simple. We need sulfur and iron, right? Maybe a lot of water. Sulfur, iron, and water. Is there anything else we want to do in like a half block? 
while we do this. Because the fuel refinery finished the recipe with the wind turbine. That makes sense. Uh, Woof Belly Wow, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Remind Hope you're doing well. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We did get efficiency modules in the most important parts of this build. So that's not the problem. Uh, even so, we could save a chunk of power by placing these. Maybe the power network will be smoother if you add two accumulators between the wind turbines? Uh, I don't really think that's the issue. I think we just don't have enough. But this will help a little bit. So we just need two efficiency ones for each greenhouse. That'll make it less dependent on how much power we have as well. Like, if we run out of power, it'll take less to make the wood. Okay. I guess I could have put uh, storage for the biomethanol as well. And we would have built up... It's not too late. How well do our uh, fluid containers fit between these? Oh, perfect. I don't particularly want to add a huge storage tank to each of these, though. Seems a bit much, but on the other hand... I mean, biomethanol is kind of like a cheap relatively cheap earlier game power source. I don't want to put too much into it. If I happen to have... Let's see. If I happen to have 56 uh, huge storage tanks lying around... I've got another 19. Yeah, we'll skip that. That's what you get for being noob, I guess. Wow, okay. Banned. Uh, what are we doing? I need sulfuric acid and... So that we can mine uranium. And I want to see if I can fit something else elegantly. We're mining uranium so that we can get nuclear power. What else? What other oil products? We've got plastic. Uh, explosives? I'd like something that relies on the same resources. Explosives is sulfur, right? Yes. Sulfur and water. He's talking about himself. Oh, fair enough. Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might do a sulfuric acid build right next to the uranium here so that we can just pump it directly. Or not even bother to pump it because it doesn't consume that quickly. And look up here. Remove that for now. I need more rail. Took the insult pretty well. Did I, though? Uh, no, we need to do sulfuric acid right next to the water, because it is extremely thirsty. So we're going to do that up here. It's also right next to... 
whichever oil goes into sulfuric acid. Oh, it's sulfur, isn't it? Wait, we don't even have a block for sulfur. Sulfur is also kind of thirsty. So I think we'll put sulfur here, sulfuric acid here. What size blocks are you doing? They snap to... Uh... How do I... How do I measure this again? Well, let's just... Didn't I have an easy way to look at the blueprint and see how long this is? Height 86, width 86. That's, yeah, that's it. The, this is the offset, 24. Yeah, 86 by 86. 106? Wasn't that last playthrough? Alright, I need a break real quick, so we'll do some words on stream. And then we'll get uh, sulfur going. Damsel is 106, okay. Alright, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Nicely done again. Level 5 is next, but we'll do that later. Okay, uh, we need a build for sulfur, which is going to be pretty thirsty. Sulfuric acid even more so, that's why we're doing them next to the water. Um... And I think we'll jump into the editor to design that. Oh, I also need some loaders. Does the autocraft disappear if I... Thirty... No, it doesn't. It's only the bots that we lose if I jump to the editor. Okay. So, sulfuric acid then. Or rather, it's sulfur, and then sulfuric acid. Maybe we should... I was going to say maybe we should do them both in the same place. And I might do that, actually. Uh, where's our beacon we want to build around? Although, uh, if we do multiple production steps in the one block, uh, ratios will be a bit messed up when we upgrade. However, with sulfuric acid, it's so easy to have more machines than we need. I don't necessarily care. Uh, let's see. Sulfur is two fluids in, which is a bit of a pain. Didn't we already do something with two fluids in? this playthrough. Oh, we do have sulfur. Thank goodness for that. Um, right, I'll delete this, and I'll just have a look at the sulfur build. Basic sulfur plus acid. We even have all of that. Fantastic. Never mind. A gift from past me. You have the build? Indeed I do. Indeed I do. So the only de the only issue is pumping enough water into it. Um, this build assumes that we're not delivering water by train because it needs way too much water for that. Okay. Uh, let's just pick this up, and just to make it easier, I'll do this first. Fantastic. What are you working towards? Uh, working towards mining uranium, because we're having power problems, and I've got a... I was going to say I've got an extremely finite supply of uranium, but it's already gone. I wonder if the K2 reactors consume it faster. We do get a lot more power a lot more easily out of nuclear reactors in K2. Um, but perhaps it's thirstier. Do we have chemical plants? I'm guessing no. That's weird. Chemical plant, 50. Why are we not trying to make chemical plants. Did I mess this up somehow? Output signals, chemical plant. Input signals... Why don't I see chemical plant? Oh, there it is. Negative two. Oh, apparently we already have the chemical plants here. That's probably why. Alright, well that's a nice little gift. Um, I think because when we need chemical plants we need lots of them sometimes. I'll crank that up a bit. And... Shove the rail in here. Yeah. 
Remulak. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So happy got energy science one today. Nice. Wasn't sure I would make it. Seems like another mountain to the next science. Yeah, it usually is. We're going to need a lot more pipe. But at least we've got our chem plant. Uh, we need some more rail as well. Oh, and did I forget to remove... I did forget to remove the water pipes that were going through here, but they didn't happen to get in the way. Uh, so... I would like it if we could... Pump a bunch of water directly. Let's use steel pipe. How far does that go? Not quite as far as I... Th oh, no, wait, that's perfect. That's beautiful. Let's get some offshore pump. I need pipe. Okay, I'll steal it from here. Offshore pump. And then... Need some power. Alright, so that's our water, or at least some of it. We can probably do this again. Uh, but I would prefer if we had a nice straight bit of land here. Can we put the offshore here? Yes, we can. Beautiful. And then... Looks like a big pole will connect those two. Okay, I'll steal a little bit more pipe again. So I don't have to think about this later. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six sections of pipe before it gets to the big tank. That should be fairly fast. It's actually limited to 1250, so yeah, that should be fine. Are we out of substations? Uh-oh. Train's already on the way with iron plate. Hey, that's what I need for pipes. Let's just handcraft them here. They're quite quick. Then again, undergrounds take a bit more work. Uh, pipe. We have 2.7k over here. You have a lot of byproducts. Yeah, that's SE, all right. Uh, we require more pipe. Where is it? I want to save the steel underground pipes for when we want the really long bits. Um, here we go. And I can make regular pipe from the iron that just got delivered over there. Fantastic, we're almost finished. What about the substations, though? We have zero substations over here. None left on the planet. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. How many chemical plants do we have? 41. I'll put that on pause for the moment.
I'll actually handcraft this because I need concrete. Okay. Concrete we shall have. Now we need copper cable. And more copper cable. Alright, so that's sulfuric acid. I was going to put it next to the uranium, but what's done is done. Oh yeah, that's right, I wasn't going to do that because we need way too much water. This block consumes 1.5k water per second, so actually this should be enough already. Um, assuming the pipe flow is good enough. Which, from here, it probably is not. I think I'll just add one more offshore. Oh, is this supposed to be... That's petroleum. Water would go here. Let's see where this would fit best. That works pretty well. And offshore. Need some room in my inventory. Make that a sub. Fantastic. That should hopefully be enough. Now, why don't we have petroleum delivered here yet? We've got 200k. We are... We're requesting the wrong thing. I haven't updated that from last time I made that mistake. Petroleum. And while we're at it, Let's fix it over here. Grab our blueprint. Oh, can we do... We can't do update contents, uh, select new contents, because we've got horizontal bulk rail, so we'll have to do this from scratch. Uh, let's see... 86 sulfur plus acid, 86.24. Snap to grid, 86.24. Fantastic. Sulfuric acid. And go. Fantastic. All right, so we have sulfuric acid. Here comes our petroleum. Uh, not sure why. I was going to say, I'm not sure why this isn't connected to the train stop input, but actually it doesn't need one, because we've only got one fluid we're dropping off here. I would have to update the blueprint again to fix that. I don't feel like it right now. Uh, do we have assembly machines over here? We do not. Assembly... Wait, I thought we did have a sequence of these. Here they are. Yeah, okay, so we are trying to make them. Why aren't they being made?
That's a good question. We have the... Oh, we do have 210 of these. Okay, I keep making that same mistake. Uh, I'll just drop off this rail while I'm here. And then we'll make ourselves... A, self, uh, a uranium mine. Can I handcraft a couple of loaders? Not quite. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Never mind. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did vanilla to rocket, then K2 to the main objective. Main objective? Uh, I don't suppose we have more power poles yet. Crafting machine thinks it's finished, so that's a maybe. We've got substations. Uh, we've got the... We've got substations, power poles, and... We, we've got the non-lighted version. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I wish we could, I wish we had, like, everything on the red wire symbols. That would be very convenient. Instead, I think we will do this. Uh, lighted... Medium pole, lighted big pole, lighted substation. Okay. So now we're trying to make the lighted substations. And it's working. Fantastic. But why did we do that before the big poles? Well, whatever, it seems to be working. Give me those substations. I'll pick up the rest from over here. I just need some loaders for the mine. Oh, Grail loader. We don't actually have those automated. Uh, we kind of do, though. But we're not, a, we're, the auto crafter here hasn't gotten around to it. Uh, but now I can hand craft. Alright, take a little bit more rail. Where are we going? Here it is. Uh, I'll design this remotely because uranium hurts. Spicy rocks. And I think we'll just do it this way. Underground pipe. I think that lines up right. I 
And we need a sulfuric acid. Ow, ow, ow. Spicy. Sulfuric acid drop off goes here. I'll put the train station there so that when we want to build something here later, it's going to be in the right spot. Oh wait, we don't need a bulk. It's a fluid drop off. Uh, you would be in just the right place so that I can't fit this here, wouldn't you? Nope, that's fine. Okay. Actually, this goes over here, so never mind. Avon, good to see you again. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morning to you too. And let's connect to this. Unfortunately, we can't. Let's put a substation between them. And I guess that's not close enough for the medium poles. Um, how about we just connect this like so, and then we make this a requester, or sulfuric acid, and tell us what we're doing here. We are mining uranium. And it's a finite resource that we... Actually... Yeah, no, we only want to drop off the infinite uranium over here. Uh, so, encoded network ID 1. So... You're... Actually, we don't need that here. The encoded network ID, that's for the picker. Uh, 50k? No, 25k. No, 50k. Oh, that's a stack threshold. Um, one train load is 50k, but we only need a little bit. It doesn't mine it that quickly, uh, consume it that quickly. So... Why don't we just do a little tiny request threshold and see what happens. So it should request when we're down to 2000, but the train will probably bring 50k just because it's that big. Maybe it won't. I usually deal in full trains or specialized multi-trains. Got all the sciences and powered the beacon. Isn't that the objective in K2 on its own? Oh, yeah, I haven't played that far in K2 itself, by itself. The only time I did play 2, I had a bunch of other mods as well. Um, all right. And we need to connect this to here as well. And then we'll put the output in the usual spot. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be convenient in case we want to build something here later. And we've got one, two, three, four, five belts. Let's call it four belts. Just merge these. Okay. This can go down here. It's too close, actually. I'm sure we don't actually need blue belt here, now that I think about it. 
Do I have some loaders? Uh, I do. I think all of those... Nope, they're fine. Those belts are facing the right way. That's some pretty good reach. Did you wire up the tank? I did. I almost forgot. And then I thought I had done it because it was connected to the substation. Oh, we did get a small delivery of sulfuric acid. And it looks like we're consuming it a bit faster than I thought. 28 per second. All right. Let's just do one train load. But... I'll set the request threshold to less than that. So we sh should get... No, that'll cause a half train delivery, won't it? I guess we can't have it both ways. We'll just deliver when we're down to 5k. Alright, so this goes here, and this goes here. Nice. Get some Oh, and there's our uranium. Fantastic. Make that a provider. This is the one that we want to give a encoded network ID. To say this is not an infinite resource, do not put it into storage. And that's it. Get some signals. Come to think of it, couldn't we put uranium processing here? Or here? The only uranium processing we can do at the moment, unfortunately, is... Um not cover X, which is why I put it off. Uh, actually, get rid of that. We need our bulk loader here. I'll set up a rail block to deal with uranium for the future, but I'll just push this up here. Uh... Or maybe I won't even bother with that standard requester. I should probably design this in the editor so that we'll have a blueprint. What are we missing for Coverex? Uh, we need space science, basically. We need production science packs for Coverex, which means another planet. Maholic, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Uh, let's go with... Uh, it's all physical, right? There's no fluids. With this build. And we need some... Uh, what are they called? Centrifuges. As usual, we'll build it around theoretical future beacons. Was okay, almost got back my lost science from the 0.5 to 0.6 update. Lost science. That sounds exotic. Uh, I think we want as many as we can fit, right? Because this is quite a slow process. 
Oh yeah, it is very slow. But we also have to deal with iron and stone. We've got four outputs to deal with. Um, how do I normally lay this out? Like this, I think. Yeah. One, two, three. So we can fit... Beacon... Beacon, beacon, when we feel like it. The game unlearned half the science in the update of save. Oh no. Um, I don't think we're going to need more than red belt for this, are we? It's going to be quite slow. Uh, I'll just put that there until I do the belts. And copy it to the other side. I have another one of these down here. I think it'll look a bit better if we have some symmetry for the output. That just barely reaches. Very nice. Okay, so this is... Oh, wait, we need to filter it. So we actually need... To... We actually need four stations to pick this up. Unless we want a fancy loader. Can we fit that where we're building it? Uh, we actually can. If I don't use this for a uranium station. Funny that uranium on a belt doesn't give us the spicy rock effect. Okay, I'll just stop this mine. And we'll belt this up here when we're ready. Okay, uh, we are going to have loaders here, 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 and here. How's your mega design going? Awesome if you have the whole area beacons already. I don't. I'm building it so that we can just put them in later. Uh, with as many builds as possible. So we don't have to redesign as much. That actually looks a bit better. Good thinking, thank you. Okay, uh, we will put our pickup stations one, two, three, four, five. That should be right. Yes, fantastic. And this one, one, two, three, four, five. It looks a bit different vertically versus horizontally. These two look like they're not like overlapping each other as much. Or maybe it's just because we don't have the signals yet. Okay. Um, total output from the whole thing should be less than one belt. Way less than one belt. Um, I was going to say, so it should be easy enough just to run it through some splitters for splitting, uh, for filtering, but even better is to have a chest. Because loaders and chests do a much more elegant job uh, of filtering the outputs. So this will be... I think I'll put the slowest resources up here. Although I do want to put um, the uraniums together. 
I think we'll just go stone iron 235, 238. That goes there, actually. Oh, wait. We need room for the input. Might just move this over a little bit. Although, I would like it if... If a couple of these belts can just line up. So. Hmm. I could put these chests on the opposite side. That that's legal, right? over here, and then this could fit nicely. Although, I'm almost tempted to use blue belts just to make the underground belts a bit neater. How many tiles is this? It should be the same length. Good enough. Okay. And last but not least, this goes over here. Alright, so we're going... Uh, how much do we get from each? Iron stone. Two thirty five and two thirty eight. And let's test it and make sure. Shouldn't be overlapping into this second half of the block, right? Just barely... no. It's a pretty good fit, actually. Okay. We're not going to need anything faster than yellow inserters. Long arms will be acceptable as well. And then just one, two, three. as it gets. I actually could have had this a, another tile to the left. I think I will do that. Looks 
a little better. Redstoneer, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, we need some power. Well, we have some power, so something's not connected right. Probably the fact that we have no substations here has something to do with it. Hmm, can't quite put that where I'd like. I'm going to leave some inserters high and dry that way. This will have to do. Oh no. Can we put this in here? I think that's what we did up here actually. Oh, that's everything. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. I definitely like the look of that better on the map. Now then, why don't we have our here? Fantastic. Okay, I think that is our build. Uh, we are requesting uranium ore so that we can put it into centrifuge and make way too many things iron stone uranium and uranium are our output products uh, and we need to request it here Uranium ore, all of it. How much is a train load? Two, four thousand. Uh, we want thirty-two k. All right then. Next, we just need to name these stations. Uh, so this is iron. Oh, and don't forget the wiring as well. We don't really need to connect the delivery cannon chests if it's a pickup. I guess technically we don't really need to connect it if it's a drop-off either, but I think it makes a bit more sense. All right, 235. Provider, 238, we're not doing any fluids here, uh, do these have in combinators? They do not, I haven't named them yet. So let's do this blueprint. Alright, so this is iron. And this is stone. And we'll just double check these filters. I'm loving the fact that you include windmills in your rail network. Yeah, it just takes the edge off the power requirements a little bit. Also, the fact that 
um, I mean, I would do solar if it fit better and if we had, like, flat solar panels already. Um, also, if it scaled the same on every planet. But windmills we can just squeeze in easily and they'll always just give us a bit of power. I've also got some blocks here to make it look a bit more pretty. We're gonna add more we're gonna add trees into the stone bits. Hopefully they don't die of pollution. Uh but yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do Hopefully we don't completely fill up on uranium-238 too quickly, as we need this for nuclear power. What do we need for uranium fuel cells? Is it the same as what we're used to? Uranium fuel cell. Steel. We need steel instead of iron. But otherwise it's the same. Alright. So let's get rid of this. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Hurties. No, stop. Uh, we'll move that when we're ready. Grab our blueprint. Wait, did I make the blueprint? I don't think I did. Blueprint. Uranium processing. Train stop names, snap to grid 86, 24, and I'm just gonna put a centrifuge here. And I guess I'll put it here. Actually, I think when I look for uranium processing, I'm going to look for a green icon. Alright, so we should be able to just place this here. Like so. For the most part. Hmm. I need to empty this. Uh. Hmm. Let's just do this right now. Before we do the blueprint. Actually. Merge it with a splitter. in the wrong spot. There we go. And then blue belt up this way. And over here we'll need a splitter. Oh, that fits perfectly. And some loaders. Activate bots. Pick a dolly it out of the way for now. I don't think I can pick a dolly bulk rail loaders, can I? No. That's fine, this will be empty soon. And the only thing I'll have to reconfigure... Well, actually... It shouldn't be that much of a headache if I just do this now. I'll just have to put a loader there when we're ready. 
Or, alternatively, um, do it like this. I note that the spicy rocks ended up on the ground, not in my inventory, because it was full. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Where are you? Oh, that's fine, I guess. That's actually totally fine. Yeah, by all means, bring a trainload of uranium up here. I forgot to remove this from that blueprint. There we go. Do we have enough substations? Definitely. Okay, so now we just need one, two, three, four, five, six unloaders. Uh, and we need some uh, centrifuges. I don't think I brought 48. Also need a couple of train stops. Blue belting unconnected. Blue belting unconnected. Oh, this. Indeed. Did your blue belt break? Yeah, I turned it around so that I could do some surgery on it without making the uh, containers imbalanced. Which isn't going to matter for very long. Alright, do we have some bulk rail loaders? Probably not. Uh, we're definitely still trying to make them. Can I make them over here already? What do they require? Rail. I don't think we have rail here. Uh, can we make rail? Rail is in the right order for prerequisites. So hopefully we can just put it here. Rail. Uh, bulk rail loader. Bulk rail unloader. And just for testing reasons, I'll drop this to one. And in a few seconds, it should switch over. Cool. We can definitely make those here. That's going to make things a little bit easier. What about train stops? Train stops at, uh, or at least the logistic train stops are dependent on lamps. Uh, and they come before lamps. Uh, we have to put another thing here. Here's our prerequisites that we have to code in manually. Not great. Red wire and green wire as well. I think I'll just handcraft them. For the moment. I need more copper cable. Fantastic. And... Uh, I needed loaders, didn't I? Give me that iron plate. If we have any. There we go. Okay. Uh, don't forget the centrifuges. which are located here. We've got 8 and 15. Could be better, could be a lot worse. 
Did I put the centrifuges down here? I did not. Let's do that first. So we'll be able to process the little bit of uranium that comes from core mining. Where are we going? Over here. Centrifuge requires concrete, I think, is usually the thing that I ended up forgetting when I went to Outpost last playthrough. Uh, let's get these assembly machines finished as well. We already had more than enough green circuit production, but... That'll push it way beyond. And give me those loaders. Oh, we didn't get to the unloaders yet. Steel beams. Uh, I should probably crank this up a bit. Oh, do we need to put the rail... We need to put the rail on pre rec because of steel beams. Okay then. Right. Uh, what's next? More centrifuges. For that, we need heat shield and concrete, which luckily we can get delivered to us by cannon. Processing units? What are we missing? Steel plate, big electric. Uh, I should still have a bunch of big electrics. What is it that you're using to load into trains? The mod is called Bulk Rail Loader. Very handy. Assuming that you only want to put one type of resource onto a train. Uh, but you can use it for multiple drop-offs. Serenity, Sapolsnia, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, on the renewable power plant, I always create a dedicated module on a separate power grid, which powers only the plant. Since that module is not connected to the base plant, never stops even if base power dies. Uh, yeah, we could mess around with that. Or we could get uranium going so we have our nuclear plant as well. Oh, I forgot. We're gonna actually... I guess for now we'll manually resupply the nuclear plant. It shouldn't consume that quickly, right? Uh, what was I coming here for? I had it marked. Here we go. Big electric motors. And then we need even more concrete. And steel. Goes round and round in circles forever. Give me more steel. I should get more jetpack equipped. I, I can't do that right now, really. Okay. Uh... Uh, actually, I could have done that. No path, you say. Where are you trying to go to? Oh. No path indeed. Use something to put into the loader. I think that might just be regular loader K2 introduces. Uh, yes. Yes. These, uh, these loaders are from K2. Alright, is our train in motion? It is. Fantastic. Wait, that means our cryonite is already... No, it doesn't. 
right, cool. There it goes. Into storage. Um, what else was I building? More centrifuges. We need more concrete. We need a whole stack of concrete for each centrifuge. Alright, I'll just drop off what I've got and we'll do a rate calc and see if that can keep up with the mine. Probably not. Uh, let's see, 18 point... 19.33... 37. Not even close. Do we have 235 already? Oh wait, we need a container, otherwise the whole thing is blocked. Oh, we actually do have a single uranium-235. Make that too. Alright, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to take a short break, and after that we will set up some kind of uranium fuel cells. For now I'll throw in words on stream. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Pause that for now. Uh, just throwing together a little build next to the nuclear reactor. It's going to give us our uranium fuel cells. And this should be more than enough for now. We also need to request steel. Uh, and that is 8k. Just one little delivery should be fine. Maybe I should have done a short train for this. But then... Yeah, I don't want to have to rebalance the other stations. Alright. Uh, that should already be set up correctly. And... I'll just put a chest here for now. What are those stations? The grates? Uh, this is a bulk rail unloader. So the train can just drop everything into here nice and quick. Uh, for the moment, I am going to manually bring over the uranium. Uh, I think if I put it in my inventory, it's going to be spicy, right? Yes. But if it's in my hand, not so much. So we can make two whole units of fuel with this. I don't know if we have steel plate available. Oh wow, we have no power as well. Good, perfect. Uh, yeah, steel plate... We haven't got a block for. We're going to have to use the basic one because we don't really have pyroflux. So we're going to need coke. Uh, and we're going to need steel plate. I think I've got those in my blueprints. The question is where I want to fit them. I don't want to block off these mines until we've mined them out. Uh, coke means we need a wood block as well. Hmm. I think I would like to combine... Well, let's see. Did I do a double block for wood? I did, yeah, because it's really slow. Alright, let's start with that then. As much as it consumes water slowly, it'll be a bit more convenient if we put it next to a water source. Um... Can't really fit it around that mine. Wait, which recipe did I do for wood here? Probably the one that needs sand. Should we consider not doing that? Because stone is relatively precious for now. If I do change the recipe... Uh, then I could put it here without adding any landfill. It's not that much landfill that we need. And we can mine out the cryonite without getting the rail out of the way. So I think we'll put wood here and coke here. We can definitely update our input output for coke. Uh, not to mention this crusher here. Huh. I might actually want to update these designs first. Okay. Wood. And... Coke. And... 
steel. Whoops. We want to use delivery cannon chest, which probably just means moving this down one tile. Um, change this as well. Is that going to be okay? Oh, this is kind of perfectly in the middle. Let's just figure out how the crushes could be different. Shouldn't be difficult. Or we could just drop off sand directly. That would probably make sense. the exact same thing on the opposite side. No? Oh, I see. Uh, so we'll change that request to send. can keep the water request, but I'll just pipe it in directly this time, since it's so close to the water. And then... What's the rate here? It's only 16 per second. Less than half a belt. We could just do it like this. And it should be mirrored on this side. Except for that part. Alright. Basic wood. Get out of here. Train stop names, snap to grid, 86.24, and we're done. Next is coke, for which we need electric furnaces. Oh, we need some... Yeah, I don't think we're going to update the input for this one, because we need some half belts. That's fine. But this uh, Cthulhu spaghetti can definitely... Get out of here. How fast are we getting coke here? Not that fast. I think we just built it to be upgradable. Let's just do it like this. Individually, we're looking at really slow, actually. These should be yellow inserters. And these ones can be long arms. Flip that over. And this is probably fine. Delivery cannon chest. to here. Wait, why is that? Oh, right. And that's it. Upgrade that blueprint. Uh, and we're 
are doing coke. Okay. I didn't put the blueprint where it's supposed to go last time. And last but not least is steel. Uh, steel also has a double input, so we'll keep this thing. Oh, it's actually missing a spot. Or, or two, even. What is going on with this blueprint? Uh, well, it's mine now, I guess. And we don't need this thing. Looks like an octopus. Indeed. It looks even better when it's in motion. Oh, I think I forgot to put a substation over here. But that's fine. Uh, easier to just place one after the fact than redo the blueprint. What's our output? 15 per second. Yeah, I must have... It's only 1.25 per second. Per machine for the output. I must have, like, ratioed this for like tier 9 beacons or something. That doesn't need to be there. I can't flip that. But we do need the four belts of input because half belts. Okay, so delivery cannon chest, loader, loader. And loader. Let's include the substation this time. All right, so... Basic steel. Eighty six twenty four. And we're good. All right. So I want these. Well, not here for the steel because there's a coal mine in the way. I'm sure it won't be there for too long. All is a bit of a problem on this planet. Uh, but we'll put our wood here. Actually, let's just build them one at a time so that we don't get overlapping bots taking stuff. We also need a bunch of greenhouses. I might just steal these ones, to be honest, as we creep away from... This is full of wood, isn't it? As we creep away from using this old spaghetti. we have some greenhouses handy. Yeah, I'm the only one who has any. Oh, we can make 13 right now. That's not bad. Give me some more wood. And glass. Uh, I should probably fix power sooner rather than later. Since we have no charge... 
How much uranium do we have? Not enough to trigger a delivery for the 238. Oh, there's no 238 here. What's going on? Uh-oh. Did I... Oh. Oh, no. I forgot to remove this. Okay. That's... That's my bad. So now we need to move all of that 238. All three of it? Wait, what? Oh, because it's on the belt, that's why. Alright then. Let's drop off what we have. Put the chemical plants back. I don't have room for them. That's going to be a bunch of stone in our inventory. what little we have than I thought it would. Oh, and I think I missed connecting this wire earlier. Why do we have steel plate on the ground here? Item on ground. Okay, so much for that creating room in my inventory. Where was I headed after this? Uh, pick up some uranium. With my bare hands. Let's drop off this stone first. Uh, that'll be fine. Actually, give me the glass back. Oh, here come the pots. Uh, okay, so... It's mostly just on the belts. In fact, it's almost literally all just on the belts. This... 238. Get it out of my inventory. Why is it on a half belt here? It's a little strange. Can I perhaps put some shields on? That might be a good idea. Oh wow. Didn't- oh, oh, there's still some in my inventory. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, can we get a med kit to stop the sound effects? We need some wood and some fish. Let's go grab some fishies. And I left that wood way down there. So I'll go grab it over here. Give to me the wood. Give to me the med kits. Give to me the not ba dump ba dump ba dump. Takes uh, longer than one would. Oh, wait, I see. This is the basic med kit. There we go. Okay, let's try that again, but with shields. 
And let's drop off a bunch of insodas, I guess. Come on. Good bots. Wait, what? Did Does Shift-C put stuff that you're holding into the outputs of these machines? That's handy. That's actually very handy. Did we get rid of the uranium here? We did. The 235. Oh, the shields are actually keeping up as well. That's good. Do I have any more uranium in here? I'll kind of. I don't really want to... Oh, on second thought, my personal uranium, my power armor, lasts a really long time. I could put it into the power plants. Most of it. Uh, and then we would get more uranium because the centrifuges would be working. So let's do that. Why is there a water drop off here? What? Huh? Oh, is it... no? No. Do we have a water drop-off that's just called drop-off? Somewhere? The schedule is water pickup and then just drop-off. So there's a station with a bad name somewhere. But then, I don't know how... I, I still don't know how this happened. Um, how about I just switch this off, and we'll void the water this way. And you... Uh, you can just go home. Let's name the station properly. Actually, semi-properly, since it's pretty temporary. On your wood production. Thank you. Yes, perfect. So how did they... Like, normally there's temporary stops that... Uh that prevent station name ambiguity from being an issue. I don't know how the train ended up... There's another one. Yeah, I don't know how the train ended up sitting at a station. It's gonna happen again. I'll just change the station name. Uh... What are we requesting? Concrete. Well, let's just say mole 2. For the moment. Alright, we're getting distracted. Let's drop off some... Uranium? Wait, where did it go? I thought I was trying to put it into my... Huh? It's not on the ground? Oh, there it is. Way over here. Okay. Even distro. There's our heat. And there's our power. Now let's try and get everything working before it runs out again. 
Uh, I'll have to go fix those trains. How much fuel do I have? Plenty. Oh, here they are. Manual. And go back to depot. And then one more is on the way, I believe. Here it is. It's saying no path. Oh, that's fine. You're trying to go to the right place. Actually, no. Um, put this back. Go back to depot. Uh, I'll do it remotely. I need to switch off these combinators before we schedule more water trains. No, don't. No, back to depot. How dare you. And... Okay, good. Perfect. Let's get enough rail here. I don't think I have enough landfill, actually. We just need to finish this roundabout. Preferably both of them. Do we have any landfill down here yet? I would expect not. That's fine. Um, we have 73 here. It might be enough to at least finish... Sorry, fishy. To at least finish this roundabout. It's just enough. But now we don't have rail. Does that get our train moving? No path. Oh, there's a bit of rail missing here as well. No path. Really? There's... Okay. No path. Oh, we don't actually have the loaders. That would probably help. And while we're at it... Connect that as well. Alright, we have a train in motion. Uh, I'll wait till it's finished its delivery. Both of them, actually. And then we'll update the station name. We need some power. It's actually going to take a moment. And we have no power. Wow, that... I'm pretty sure the K2 reactors eat fuel a lot faster. And I mean a lot faster. Bye, Cal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kappa Beast, good to see you again also. Could you show the cargo pad into Omnicrafter setup you had? Uh, sure. We're just using it as a big container for, like, lots of things. Um, so we've got the... We've got input from the output container, so that prerequisites will go back straight back into here. It's also the overflow chest for the... Uh, crafting combinator and to control our prerequisites uh, we read from this container to say what we've got we've got each times negative one going to positives for stuff that we're requesting to build like normal 
uh, we've got uh, if everything greater than zero output p1 e for prerequisite uh, so it's reading from here and it's also reading from negative one of everything I put here as being in the group of prerequisites uh, so we put those in as a positive and then uh, that also the, the prerequisites also go to here oh wait is that No, no. I, I thought I had it set up so that these were like prereqs as well, but the prereqs are on the red wire. Uh, and then if P greater than zero output everything input count, this is all the stuff that uh, requires prerequisites to be made before we start. Anything that can be handled by just the implicit ordering of signals, uh, we can put here. And these are kind of a special case because we've got layers of prerequisites um, that don't match up conveniently with the signal order. So copper cable is required for lamp, is required for uh, lighted power poles. Both of those steps require forcing the prerequisite to come first. Uh, so I made a little set of exceptions up here. You are storing the steam? Uh, oh, true. How much steam do we have left? Okay, that's a decent amount of steam. But even so, I'm, I'm pretty sure the reactors eat up fuel faster. C for cat. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. A spider riding a sea for cat. Obada, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. That's smart. Nice, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. And thank you. Good evening, JP. Welcome also. Uh, okay, so our train is gone. We can update our station name. Sand and water requester goes to greenhouse to make wood. Fantastic. And I think we can keep the requests the same. Wait, why is this off? I mean, not off, but empty. Okay. Tidy this up a bit. And we've already got trains coming. Probably one of... Uh, probably, probably the one that's going to the right will say no path. I'm really curious as to how it went to the wrong station, though. Because when... Oops. Because whenever there's any ambiguity as to the station names, it creates a temporary stop. So that's really strange that that happened. Um, do we have landfill? Zero. That's not great. Uh, what do we want to use for landfill? We will eventually start turning rare metals into landfill. I could do it now. But it's like one landfill per stack, right? It's not that much. Unfortunately, we can't send landfill by delivery cannon. Sugan? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, normally stone makes the most sense, but stone is relatively precious on this planet. We can do sand. Oh, sand and water. That's more efficient. 
That's a lot more efficient. It's literally four times. Uh, how much stone goes into sand? 7.5 becomes 3. No, 3... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is... Mm, lovely. Good. Easy to mentally calculate. Um... So in other words, 6 becomes 15. Uh, 50 becomes... Hang on. 3 over 7.5... No, 7.5 over 3. 2.5. Uh, so one stack of stone becomes 1.25. Uh, sorry, a bit more than half of a stack of sand. But landfill from sand is... If we use water... It's a ratio of 1 to 2.5. I see you were using that? Wait, what was I using? Wait, what's busted here? Oh, no path to that station. Because we need the landfill. That's what we're trying to solve right now. Uh, I guess I could do a block for it. I could put it here. Since we're definitely doing a half block for this. Give me some rail. That's not enough rail. Oh, bots. Are you actually... That's just way too fast. Give me some room for rail and then don't take my stuff. Okay. So I guess we're going to have the same inputs as wood, sand and water. I could steal it from the wood build. Because I'm sure it's going to be a very small build. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Regular pump? Get out of here. Steel pump. Uh, let's see. Can we do it in a assembly machine? Landfill with water. Yes, we can. Perfect. Alright, this will be our landfill. Which is pretty convenient because we need it right up here. Um, but I think we may want the sand to come in a bit faster. Just a, just a wee tad. And at no power cost. Alright. So even though we have no power, we've already got a couple of landfill here. Uh, let's put it into a chest. And that'll probably meet our needs for a while to come. However, it would be nice if we had power right now. Wait, the nuclear power is working. Oh. Oh, good. This just means the power here is disconnected. Fantastic. That is less bad. I really like how that stone tile looks when it borders water. Oh yeah, it's uh, relatively nice. Very neat looking, but not like... It's like neat, but not trying too hard, if that makes sense. Let's go get ourselves some power poles. The only downside of this crafter is I have to look in here manually for the stuff that I want. Why is up lighted big electric poles? Why are we having trouble making those? A 
that's weird. We're making the substations before we make the lighted big electric poles? No, it thinks we have... Oh, I see the problem. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Uh, I only need a couple right now. Could you not replace the cargo landing pads with a warehouse? Uh, yes. And... I will be doing that when we have bots. We'll be using... Uh, logistic warehouses. Alright, is this connected to the main network? Fantastic. That's going to give us landfill a lot faster. Let's pick up these fishies before they get deleted. And plan out some landfill. And a little bit over here as well. What are my bots doing? Did I not place that? Okay, there we go. Fifty landfill did not go very far. How much more do we need? Fifty-nine. Actually, you should put some here as well. Oh, I have to hold shift like that. I see. Uh, do we have some speeds? We do. So now we're bottlenecked on 45 cent per second. Uh, I guess we could go a little bit more ham. Two blue belts are barely keeping up. Yeah, I think this one machine will be enough. It, I mean, this alone can consume sand faster than we can probably make it on this planet for the moment. Um, did we not deliver stone from the delivery cannons? We can deliver them, right? Uh, delivery cannon stone. Yeah, we can. I think I just overlooked it when I made the delivery cannon setup. Because I didn't realize how much of a problem stone would be on Hagen. Uh... Uh, I don't want to have to go back to Nalvis, but in the long run, it's going to be so much better off if we can get stone delivered. I could have one cannon to deliver stone and the other. Why is this full of coal? Didn't we limit it so that there'd be room for the uranium? That's 12k. Oh, there's room here. Even so, I think I must have miscalculated. Uh, let's make that like 3k. No stone on Hagen at all? There is some, it's just like... Not a whole lot. There's this mine, this mine, and this mine. And then for miles and miles and miles, uh, we can't really spot any stone at all. There's some. 1.8 million. 2.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8
1.0, but that's like most of the way to the uh, the edge of the planet. Coal mine for stone? Yeah, we are doing that. It's just going to be a bit slow. Alright, so there's our landfill. And this will be enough to finish the rail block in any case. And that should mean a train is coming. Or, well, yes, it will, but this would help. There we go. Now we just need some power. I'm sure one would be enough for the whole block, actually. Where did it go? I always have trouble finding offshore pumps. Oh, we need more power poles. Uh, awkward. Let's just put it over here. Can I fit it here? Perfect. Substation. Let's go get some big power poles. Left for there. Uh, Fritley, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Left for there. Do we have big poles? I think we do. No, that's substations. Why are we making... Okay, so we are outputting... Nothing. It... We do have big poles. Lighted big electric pole. Lighted big electric pole. Uh... Hello? Lighted big electric... There's nothing. What is going on here? Shouldn't the big poles be made before the substations? Like, definitely, actually? Uh-oh, we got no red circuits. But even so, um... Big electric pole. Stick, copper cable, steel beam, concrete. And lamp. And we've got the layers of pre here. We need lamps before we make lighted poles. Uh, stick, copper cable... Well, it, the problem isn't that we don't have the pre though. The problem is the... It seems to think we have... We do have big poles, we just don't have lighted ones. Oh, so it's trying to make substations. Oh, okay. I think the substations come before the lamps. Yeah, that's why, because we didn't have red circuits. Alright, let's go get some more red circuits, I guess. And... Uh, I'll just drop this rail here for now. So close to Astro 3, I can taste it. I am not that close to Astro 3. Cannot taste it even a little bit. Not even once. Uh, what are we doing? Red circuits. I know we've got some here. Are we really down to 600? Because that would be bad. Considering how many more steps we have to take. Uh, we've got lots, actually. Yeah, we've got thousands. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Fantastic, even.
I just realized I didn't need to steal the heat shield. Oh well. Red circuits, heat shield, motors, and so on. Alright, so we've got big poles somewhere in here. Actually, let's control click that. Nope, I lost track of them. But here it is. Control click. Fantastic. Uh, I need copper. Do we not have copper being delivered here? We do. Perfect. Give me all of those. And we need some substations here. There's our water. Why is this train no pathing? Because we're missing something? Oh, wait, no. What are we missing? Is this roundabout incomplete? There's no room for a signal up here. There's your problem. Fantastic. So now we can do coke. And then steel. It is raining in F1, Formula 1. Spaceships and bioscience for Spyatron. You get spaceships for four Spidertrons? Bio 1, Material 1, that's actually not that far away. We'll definitely be going for that sooner rather than later. Uh, I need electric furnaces. I'm pretty sure we still have a bunch of them. We have 240 or so. Take some more rail from the... Oh, never mind. Bye-bye, bots. We were looking for electric furnaces. Uh, how many do I need for that blueprint? Exactly 48. I actually could have predicted that. Uh, I did not mean to drop those on the ground. I see one of them. Let's turn off my bots. Pick up item on ground. There we go. And we need some rail. Okay. I'm surprised the bots caught me this far away. This quickly. Didn't I pick up stone? I did. I want the spaceships to ship the bioscience pack back to Nalvis because I'm making it in orbit of the Vita planet. Cutting rocket fuel costs, I have an elevator. Nice. Uh, I don't want to run out of rail while I'm building this block. Not that I think I will. We need a 4x4 chest. I made a bunch of those by accident earlier, so I won't handcraft it. Let's go more robots.
my red belt go? I think the bots took it, because it was in my trash slots. Why are we full on core fragments here? Core fragment processing is certainly not saturated. Oh, I didn't switch this on. Okay. Well, that would have helped a little bit with the stone and things like that. Uh, let's just build what rail I can. Go back to the Robo Mall. Pick up some stuff from the new mall first, actually. What do I need to make greenhouses? Automation cores. Glass, wood, iron, beam. How many hours in? Uh, five days, 11 hours, 23 minutes. That reminds me, what are our CMEs doing? There's one headed for Nalvis, that's the normal amount of power, not too worried about that. And one heading for Muir, which is not a place we are at just yet. So GMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. So red belt, 4x4 four four chest, that's pretty much it. Let's get that first. Actually, we might be out of red belt at the old mall. Hungry, lack of sleep, can't complain really. Just about to make some food. Fair enough. I can't say I've got a lack of sleep. I slept 12 hours. Uh, I don't have any caffeine though, so it's probably just as well I slept. Can't help but wake up at 3am two nights in a row now. Ouch. I had that problem a while ago. I thought SE takes around 300 hours on average. Uh, it probably does. Five days, 11 hours so far. So yeah, we're not we're not beating any speed records, that's for sure. Uh, what was I doing? Four by four chests. Where are they? Four by four. Wait, what? No, I definitely made some storehouses by accident. Or were they warehouses even? Or were they four by four passives? That's what it was. Okay, never mind. Uh, we need one of these, I think. Yep, just one. And then... I'm at 32 days on my playthrough. <laughs> nice. Ephraim's SE Speed 1 world record next. Razor K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't think SE is speed runnable. Maybe if you had everything blueprinted from the start. But even so... Yeah, not really. Um, I needed automation cores for something. And I need a bunch of red belt. This is a little bit of red belt. We'll go pick up some more at the old mall. Anything over 70 hours is impossible to do in one segment. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen a Terraria speedrunner that doesn't do it in one segment. So it doesn't have to be one segment necessarily. Let's grab our red belt. And a bit of rail, actually. Is there anything else we need up here? Uh, loaders. That's what I almost forgot. We've got loaders well and truly automated in this area. Not like the other one. My friend and I were thinking about trying to route a speed run after we finished our current run. Multiplayer speed run would make more sense for SE, I guess, yeah. Do we need stack inserters for this? Definitely not. It's quite absurd, actually. Uh, we do have a planner. I knew I should have pick up, uh, picked up those fast inserters. But that should at least be functional. Is this going to be switched on? It is. Fantastic. Do we have wood already? We do. It's just quite slow. What's this train doing? Oh. I see. It must have been requested before we filled up on water here. Oh, fluid wagon. Equipment grid. That's a lot. 6 by 16. Uh, 1, 2... No, I can't see it now. 6 by 16. So 3 by... 8? sets of regular sized power armor things you can put in there. You could put in 24 roboports, ignoring that it needs power. That's in one wagon. I like how it's a long grid, because long train. Can we stop requesting water this time, actually? Are we finished with landfill? We are. If it was that easy, I think we'll let this chest fill. Okay. I should have built landfill pick up into the block, but then... Then we need another train. Uh, let's go get our fasties. The issue with segmented runs is they're able to be manipulated much easier. Yeah, I guess. I mean, with Terraria, it the save has a timer that says how long, how old the save is. Also, come to think of it, so does Factorio. So, this could probably work. Rigid Noodle? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what were we doing? I came back for what exactly? Uh, fast inserters. And we want to make some greenhouses. For that I need wood. What else do I need though? Glass, automation core, iron beam. Let's take those from here. Glass. And automation core. Is in here somewhere. Okay. We'll grab the wood from where the uh, greenhouses are already.
and let's get our coke going. Why have we not got anything delivered here? Coal and wood. We don't actually have coal in the rail network, but coal is right here. I might even just have the mine belted over. Now we are moving four fragments. Fantastic. How many more greenhouses do we need? 22. I might have to make another trip. Oh, we already ran out of glass. Uh, we get 10 per stack of glass. And 5 per stack of wood. Give me all the wood. Got a bunch of glass over here somewhere. Uh, I'll drop off some fast inserters, I guess. Glass again. Iron beams again. Uh, do we have iron beams here? I don't think we do. Maybe down here. We do. Fantastic. And two more. We need wood. 40 wood to be precise. There's actually one on the ground. Can I cancel just one of these? I can. Okay. And then... And then nothing? I think that's it. Need some regular inserters. Can I handcraft? Probably. yellow inserters do we need? 47? Okay. We'll go pick them up like we're supposed to. We'll do the coal mine next. Otherwise there won't be any coke for our steel. 44? That's not 47. Why do we have 44 assemblers? Oh. No? Oh, because I stopped requesting assemblers a while ago. Well, there's your problem. Does assemblers come before the lights? Yes, they do. That should change over in about five seconds. There we go. Fast inserter. No, oh, give them back. I need the yellows. Okay. Oh. No, wait. I've got 50. Perfect. And we're still crafting the last of the... Uh, greenhouses. Actually, we're doing seven more. That's not... Whatever, we'll have them for later. If I cancel this now, my inventory will runneth over. Now then, let's do a pickup right about here. Let's see if we can fit it. We can fit it quite easily, actually. Get some drills going. Where am I going? Uh, if I do it vertically, there'll be fewer belts. Uh, 
a delivery kit and chest. We're actually running low on those. Loader goes here. And here and here and here. that would reach that far. And belts. Fantastic. I'm gonna be lazy and not belt it straight over to the to the coke actually. Uh what are we doing? Request a station. Or pick up rather. I always have trouble rotating these. Alright, so this is coal provider. Needs it's gonna need some power. And a sub here. How about a medium pole here? Nice. The delivery cannon chests are making the arduous process of making mines so much less so. Oh wow. Construction bots on the ground. There we go. Alright, so we already have half a train load of coal. Fantastic. Uh, we also need a train load of wood for... This will happen automatically, but that's not too far off. 32 per second. And then... Uh, I guess I'm not putting steel here. I could put it down here. Uh, there's nothing here, why don't we use that block? There wasn't anything I wanted to put here before, I don't think. Let's go basic steel. And see what we have to pick up. Extra miner adjacent to the station for every bit of coal. Uh, it's already covered because the electric mining drills have a... The Mark IIs have a bigger radius. Uh, bigger coverage area. Than the Mark 1s. You wanted red circuits. Oh. Hmm. I could put it here. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't even take in plastic di uh, directly with this version. Electronic components, EC, copper cable. Uh, yeah. We're not going to be building red circuits up here. It's fine. Uh, can I make one of these? I can. How you balance the train loaders? What is that green thing in front? It's actually a delivery cannon chest. Uh, and the only reason I'm using that in particular is it's the only 3x3 three three chest that we have. If you put a container next to a bulk rail loader or unloader, uh, it'll actually automatically take or put in items from that chest. So in order to keep things nice and simple and clean, uh, I'm just putting things straight into the delivery cannon chest, which is right next to the bulk rail loaders. So you can see those... Uh, yellow it like it looks like there's inserters there uh that's exactly what they're doing they're picking up from here all right and now we just need coke which is going to take a minute uh i could force a delivery of wood but 
There's no need. Uh, Wicking, Wicking a Bruder. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, chat's correct there. Okay, let's build this stuff. Am I out of train stops? I am. I'm gonna have to handcraft those. Well, I don't have to, but it's less trouble until we have bots for the auto crafter. I think I've got it making train stops though, and if I don't, I should. Uh, let's see, train stops. Come to think of it, don't we have green circuits? Yeah, I don't actually have an excuse for this. Um, I should be... I have to do yet another prerequisite thing here. Well, no, I just have to add it to this. Red wire. Green wire. We only need a little bit. And literally only for the train stops. So I'll just have it run for 10 seconds. Logistic train stop. Go. Oh wait, but it needs lights, so we have to add it over here. I really wish we had an everything but on the red wire or everything on the green wire signal with decider combinators. Maybe there's a way that I could do a generic-ish... Um, generic-ish multiple tiers of prerequisites. Train stop. 20. Get rid of it here. Okay. But for now... Uh, for now I'm going to have to handcraft. Train stop. Needs steel plate. I assume you can't set circuit conditions for those inserters built into the bulk loaders? No, they're totally unconditional. They don't perfectly balance under all circumstances either, but they're close enough um, for our purposes. Actually, that's not that close. Oof, owie. Your train stop combinator is not correct. Which one? For Ayur? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. For the steel? Iron plate and coke. Looks okay. Or do you mean the crafting stuff? Didn't connect the green wire. Oh, this one. Yeah, I keep forgetting that one. Thank you. Uh, I think it's got a few things to craft before it'll get to that, so we won't see it happen right now. Uh, I need some more furnaces. And what else? Pretty much nothing. Okay. Grab some more rail while we're here. On top of the combinator. Oh, wait, what? On top of the that would help, yes. Thank you. Alright, everything built here. Looks like it. And... So now we have steel, which means we should, in theory, have everything set up to get some uranium fuel cells. 
Uh, how is our uranium doing? We need more centrifuges. Actually, there's no ore. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's probably why. That would probably help. Um, let's just pick all this up. Should have put my armor on. Just picking it up for a moment does a significant chunk of damage. Okay. Why don't we do a blue belt like this? The whole thing does less than a blue belt, right? 37. And... Once more... Over here. Actually, I could have done that like this. of ore stuck on the belt until the end of time. That would be unforgivable. There we go. All done. What do we need for more centrifuges? Way too much concrete and steel. And heat shielding. I take concrete over to where the bots are, that'll mean we've got everything we need in one place. Um, but first I'll drop off some of this stuff. That's not concrete. That is concrete. Forgot one belt? No, it's actually looping into the other uh, bit of the mine. So, little bits like this, I like to just combine it into one of the other belts. What's wrong with this one, though? Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. Catastrophe. Let's get some heat shielding. Which I thought I knew where it was. Here it is. One? Oh, I need steel plate. Wait, no, don't bring me inserters. No, stop, 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 stop. Not today. We're out of steel over here. Huh. I didn't expect that. Um, alright, let's get some steel ingots. Do we even have more steel ingots? Uh-oh. Uh, are they over here? They are. We've got 500. I'll just have this delivered as steel instead. since we're taking that long to get ingots. Uh, okay, so steel ingot, steel plate, and then the bots are stealing my stuff. Speaking of steel... Uh, we 
have some steel plate over here, right? I just want to get... Oh, wait, I think... I was going to say I want to get enough uh, centrifuges built so that we're not going to bottleneck on them. But I don't know if that's possible. We have 37 per second from the mine. 48 of these would only be 32 per second. So we're definitely got a bottle got a bottleneck on this. What am I looking for? Big electric motors. Big electric. I thought I should have known where those were. Processing unit. Uh, concrete again. How many is this? Twelve? And to finish it, we would need seven more. Okay, we're almost there. Concrete again. And steel again. How much steel do we need? Fifty. Ouch. How's our power? Not good. Just launched my first couple of satellites on normal SE. Feels like I've just scratched the surface. Indeed you have. Dubious hubris. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think there's any steel left in this area. I don't suppose we have steel here. Doubtful. We're still waiting on coke, which is still... Oh! Oh, there's a bit of belt missing. Uh, we have some coke. Something's wrong with the input here. Great. Alright, I'm gonna take a short break. We'll fix that afterward. Uh, for now we'll continue with some words on stream. Best of luck, you just started the grind, indeed. Game, game to relax. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just got up to making cargo rockets and it takes a lot more than I expected to get it running. Oh yeah, they're a pain. Definitely. Uh, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh, whoops. Did I not put the words on stream on the screen? My bad. Did we die? Rip. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? No, Nobody saw that. It's fine. Don't worry. Um, I also don't know how I missed a Remind single piece of red belt here. Is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Actually, I kind of do know how I missed that. Alright, so there's our coke, which means we have steel... Let's put our icons on the map. Plastic. Where's plastic? Oh, there it is. Tilts the other way. Sand. Wood. Why is there a train stuck? Or is it just dropping things off? It's just dropping things off. We have no power. Again. Coal. Wait, what? The autosave made it drop the tag. About there. Uh, uranium. Of course. And I think that's about everything. What's this? Sulfuric acid. I think I've labeled them all now. Okay. So now we just need some steel so that we can get our... But we need more uranium. I might just set this to accept a small delivery. Request threshold one go. And I'll bring it some steel myself. We might have a little bit of uranium delivered by the delivery cannons, but I doubt it. Yeah, no. Uh, so let's see. Steel. Oh, that's not a whole lot. We don't need a whole lot of steel for this. No power? Time to burn coke for power soon? Uh, no, I think we'll be okay. We've almost got nuclear. At least for a little while. And there should be a train... delivering... Nope, I need to set the provide threshold lower. 
Um, actually, the request threshold can be as high as we'd like. And I'll set the provide threshold down to one. And oh, I, I have to do this at all of these, or both of these stations, rather. Not that we have a whole lot. There we go. All right, so that should get a bit of uranium uh, fuel cells sorted out for now. Oh, we need some more blue belt down there as well, so that the mine works properly. Also, I did actually have enough centrifuges, so now we've got two to spare, which is not what I wanted. Uh, why do I have no blue belt? I guess the bot stole it? was probably stashed in my... No, no, wait, it's down in the mall. Give me back my blue belt, please. Also, I kind of forgot to leave room for lubricant here, because we can make this build a blue belt. So we'll sort that out shortly. And splitters, where are they? If I... Oh, this, is, this was supposed to be lubricant, actually. Can I fit this here? Oh, I can. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Request threshold. 50k. And lubricant, please. And there should be lubricant at our oil block. Fantastic. Here it comes. Uh, and then... I think we just have to follow all the same rules for the prereqs. Um, as we do with the other belts. So this goes here, and what about loaders? Oh, here they are. Fantastic. And we're already just waiting on the lubricant train, which is coming. Nice. So we didn't run out of blue belts before we had and automated. That's what we like to see. What are we... Oh, right. I forgot that wood was broken. Because for some reason... Uh, for some reason, our wiring that controls the input of coal here is busted. Or we just never did it. But I'm sure we did that right over here. Otherwise we would have noticed. Yeah. Right, let's just copy paste that. And then remove some coal. And that will sort itself out. It's really only as long as there's one stack of wood. Uh, room for wood to get through this chest that we that this thing will work now then we've got everything but steel we do have some steel there we go we've got some uranium fuel cells uh did i already i did already use up the cells that i had So 
So this is going to be a bit shaky without cover X, though. I don't know if it's going to keep up with our... Uh, with our production of U-235 or not. And I'm actually concerned we're going to end up with this thing completely full before we... Uh, blocking the rest of the build uh, in the relatively near future. Did you delete stone yet, or is it too soon? It's way too soon, Valdek. We've got a storage system for things that come out of infinite resources, and we delete those only after we turn things... Okay, so if the storage is completely full of resources from an infinite source, then and only then we turn it into landfill. And if the landfill is completely full... And by completely full, I mean uh, eight train loads of landfill, plus whatever fits on this belt, plus whatever fits in these chests. Uh, only if landfill gets backed up do we start crushing things. That's acceptable. <laughs> That's bot cheaty, not cheaty. Okay. You need to connect your lubricants pump for your blue belt? I think I did. Or you said pump. Uh-oh. I definitely connected the pipe. Good catch, thank you. Uh, this goes here. And this goes here. And because there's that many sections of pipe... Uh, it's not going to unload as fast as it otherwise would, but overall the throughput that we need here is not that high, so I'm not too worried about it. And I just caught our power going fast for a second, but then it stopped since I was looking. Ideally, I would like to wait until... Uh, until we have four. What is that? Tritium. Tritium. What do we use tritium for? Delivery cutting capsule. DT fuel cell. Ten gigajoules. We need an empty DT fuel cell and heavy water. How do we make heavy water? Uh, water goes into a fusion energy. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing that for a minute. Glow in the dark parts of your wristwatch. Wait, what? You can always do big brain and balance sources in a way that you don't need to dispose at landfill. But that just means not core mining and depriving yourself of resources. There's no way around it. Oh, tritium, right. Uh, what should we build next? I'd really like to get red circuits. Not that we're as close to running out of it as I thought we were. Um, we haven't done an electronic components build yet, have we? Oh, I think that was the one... I think we designed it. Oh, the lights are flickering. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I think we did design... That was earlier today, wasn't it? A couple of electronic component builds. It's just the prereqs that we're missing. Uh, we have plastic. We have lithium. We need the glass-ish products... Uh, which is to say silicon and what was the other one? No, it's just silicon because we're not doing the more complicated build just yet. Quartz in a stone furnace. We don't have quartz though. I don't think we have a rail block for quartz. 
No, we never did that. Okay. So quartz is... Sand and water? In a filtration plant? I think we have a build that uses filtration plants. So we can probably steal from that layout. Here it is. Uh, it's one fluid in, solids and fluid out. And what was the recipe for quartz? Sand and water in. And one solid out. Yeah, I don't think we're going to gain that much from this. Alright, let's get started. Um... But is it infinite if you live forever? Uh... Yes? Wait, what? I am confusion. Alright, so plant... of the... filtration variety? Should we try and build this around beacons, or...? Probably. It's just sand and water. Just like the uh, tree build, actually. Uh, beacon would go about here. How many can we fit around a beacon? This many. And maybe on the other side as well. That's not quite right. Oh, that's way over the side. Can we move this over a bit? Not really. Hmm. I guess this will just have to be one build that takes up more than half a block. Alright, uh, there's only one solid, so we can use the delivery cannon chest. There is water to cons- oh, how much water do we need? Hardly anything. So we can have the trains drop that off. And don't need a high throughput drop off for the water. How much sand? 114 per second. That's a little fast. That is in fact three belts. Three blue belts. I was going to put the two inputs down here, but they're not actually going to fit. I could use four belts of input, put the output here. I kind of like having inputs on the same side, but in this case it's going to be a bit messier. I need to use those wind turbines more. King Fnurb, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Yeah, the wind turbines mean we at least have something when our power crashes. It also more than pays for the minimum power consumption from every block. Uh, Alright, so input... How much, how fast are these individually? 4.7 per second, so we definitely want a stack inserter. Actually, I think we want uh, loaders for this. 
Can we fit them like so? I wonder if we could even fit the water on the same side. If we have loader like this. And yes. It's gonna look neater as well. And we could have the water pipes on this side. If we so desired. That one's gonna be a bit different. In which case, how about Uh, this is fine. That's actually pretty good. And on this side... goes here. That looks pretty good. What's our output rate? Relatively slow. Just a couple of belts will be fine. Probably should have asked that sooner. 2.8 per second. Let's do some stack inserters. Wait, no, why don't we just use loaders, since we're already doing that? Because it's unnecessary? I don't know which would be more UPS efficient. And then... Loaders go here. This will be called Quartz. Provider. This is sand and water. Going into filtration plant and output is quartz. Could we maybe do silicon in the same block? make up for our sin of going over the half. Actually, I should have checked. Uh, do we need quartz anywhere else? Heat pipe, so that's a yes. It's basically just heat pipe. And there's only one recipe for heat pipe. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, silicon was just quartz in a furnace, right? Good loaders are just as UPS efficient as inserters. Okay. Do loaders cost power? They do not. Uh, yeah, it's literally just shove quartz into a furnace. But we can't use an industrial furnace. So we'll be using electric furnaces here. For that, I will steal from myself. Pro probably. Where's our builds? Uh, Coke. That fits pretty well. I imagine the rate isn't going to be as fast, though, probably. Let's see. 1.12 in... Uh, 2.25 in, 1.12 out. A machine. So total output is two belts, two red belts. 
So this is actually a good shape already. Okay. Suvasis Hadhikari. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Ilianda, welcome, welcome also. Um, I don't think I should take from the bulk loaders. And I can't do any logic between the delivery cannon chest and the rail loaders. So I think what I'll do is prior this over here. Oh, that's a perfect fit. How are you? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Uh, so we're going to priority output to make quartz. Uh, how much input do we need? 108 per second. Oh. And this is only 68 per second. Okay. Uh, if we have big productivity bonuses, that might change. But for now, I think we'll just do... Fifty-four per second, sixty-eight per second. We'll do it like this, I think. And leave the upgrade path available to just double that. don't need more than a red belt there. Does red reach this far? It does not. Okay. That looks kind of weird. So does this, to be honest. Okay, and cannon, and loader. Wire, substations, and we're almost done. All right, I already, I messed this up actually. This was quartz. And this is uh, silicon. How did you decide on your grid size? I wanted it to comfortably fit uh, two cargo wagon trains. So if I if I have some rail going down this way as well, uh, the trains can comfortably fit here without blocking each other. And also it's a very good fit for one wide area beacon build on e each side of the block. Okay. Uh, I think that'll do it. Let's test it before we say that we're done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What have we done? Goes here. And 
this goes here. We are requesting sand and water. That's already set up correctly. Sand. Uh, two train loads is 32k. Water. And we also need a request threshold, actually, since we're doing a fluid. Alright, so let's say we have our sand. And water. And minor detail, we haven't done the inputs yet. That's facing the wrong way for some reason. Uh, loader. And some power. Uh, we also need pipes. Pumps are here. And we're only dropping off one fluid, so we don't need any fancy circuitry this time. Uh, why are our unloaders not putting things into the chest? Oh, they are? Oh, we don't have power. There we go. It seems to be prioritizing one belt. Oh, this is backwards. That's why. And so is this. And so is this. What the hell? Backward undergrounds. Yes, indeed. Alright, if we see sand getting to the end of each belt, we know that it's working. Fantastic. Uh, we will be needing to power the whole thing. I don't suppose we can also set it up so that basic beacons will be usable. We could. We just have to move these uh, outsiders a little bit. How about we do it this way? Then it'll be nice and consistent. Oops, went too far. Let's just put them down so that we can see where we're going to put our substations more easily. I guess we only need power down the middle. Substation doesn't quite reach the way I want it to. Can't quite fit one in there. 
Maybe this is a job for medium poles. Dare I say. I'm glad that I didn't... I mean, I did forget that. I'm glad that it was brought to my attention by accident. Uh, I guess that reaches, but then what about this side? How about like this? That's not quite good enough. And like this? That's not too bad. I could live with that. Uh, the wide area beacon isn't powered, but we'll probably be using... Uh, pylon substations by the time we put that there. It's fine. Alright, so... water... Just need to get water connected. And I guess we'll do it like this. Cool. That should be more than enough to saturate the input for quartz to silicon. Uh, how fast is this? Input is 2.25 per second. Let's go with fast inserters. Probably not for the output though. Oh no, the output is... Yeah, no, that's right. These could probably be yellow. Definitely. Alright, check rate calc. Leave that space for the beacon. Uh, that is pos positive quartz. Seems good. The beacon doesn't reach any further, right? No, we're good. Alright, let's check our station names. And wiring. Don't forget to tell LTN what we've got here. I did remember that earlier, but then we had to break it. Um, that should be everything. That is our silicon build. Alright. Quartz and silicon. If I can click this. Snap to grid 8624 and get rid of the cheats. Alright, and that's going to go in here, I think. Oh, uh, let's get to building it. So, plastic. Quartz and Lithium are all going to, I'll probably put it here, uh, Electronic Components. And up here we're going to have Quartz and Silicon. Alright, and we need how many filtration plants? Because we definitely don't have that automated. Uh, 24. How easily can we make them? Quite easily. I might just handcraft. I don't think I have uh, multi-cylinder engines over here. But I probably could... 
Yeah, I definitely could. Small electric, I mean, multi single cylinder, multi cylinder. What was the other thing? That's basically it. And then we'll put uh, filtration plants here. We're trying to make blue belts, but we need steel gears. Okay. So I should have put blue belts over here. Steel gear. Uh, are these in the right order? Oh no. No. We've got multiple tiers of having to manually put in uh, prereqs recs again. Did I set this wrong? Encoded network ID. Lol. That's not that good. Wait, I've already got constant combinators. Uh, in fact, I've got all of these combinators. Let's not mess up the wiring this time. And we're saying that we need steel gear wheel uh, before we can make blue belt. And we'll aim for a thousand. Aren't you outstripping power supplies with each new city block? Yeah, but they're not running all the time while we're building things. See, this one's totally saturated, so it's just sitting idle. Don't you have one chest of multi-cylinders in your first mall? Yes, I just wanted to set this up for later. That's why I'm happy to handcraft the rest of the filtration plants. Oh, that should be all of them. Uh, and what else do we need? Electric furnaces. I knew there was something from over here. One stack will be more than enough. Alright, away we go. May as well drop off this rail. Although, I guess we need some for this build. Whoops. It's fine. That fills my inventory with stone. do appreciate the speed buff on the construction bots in K2. Speaking of, how much do we have over here? We have nine. Fantastic. Let's get our power going for a while. 
and I'll take one of those for myself. of these and I would prefer not to die actually and even distribution fantastic that'll keep our power going for at least five minutes and that's not that much of an exaggeration because this seems to run out quite quickly. I could stop the core mining, I guess, or at least some of it. And this, we were able to handle this before, so I can probably leave that. Alright, let's pick up some rail. this old thing. Let the bots bring us stuff. And why are there items on ground again? Get them out of here. Uh, so once we have quartz, I guess we can do our electronic components build. And once we have that, we can get red circuits. Rain's already trying to drop off water and sand a good sign. I think we've already got enough of the block built. We need three more filtration plants. Oh, I've got one. Oh, we're actually making exactly the right number. Fantastic. I didn't even calculate that. Sand is getting dropped off. Fantastic. So how's our fuel doing? It's already gone through most of the first one. Uh, we will be banking steam though. So I want to keep an eye on the steam supply. That's weird, we're out of blue belt. Uh, can we finish this part? Stack inserters. Wait, stack inserters? No, that's a yellow inserter. That... I always forget just how long it takes to handcraft the most basic inserter with this mod. Good grief. Let's just go pick some up instead. Inserters are down here. And we need blue belt as well. Blue undergrounds. I'll just throw some blue chips in here as well. What are we trying to make? We don't have blue express belt. Oh, I see. Because... Because we had to put Blue Express Belt over here, we'll have to put all of it here. I think that's how that goes. I really should try coming up with a generic system for multiple tiers of prereq.
What are we trying to drop off over there? A couple of yellow inserters. Oh, and we only just got that blue belt fixed. Whoops. It's probably fine. And we just dropped off something. What's on the way here? A single... Uranium-235. Beautiful. You know what? We can set the provide threshold of that to two, since that's how many it takes to make a... Uh, a uranium fuel cell. I'll set it a bit higher. Now that we've actually got some throughput. Uh, we actually don't have... Oh, yes we do. There's our water, and there's our sand. These three belts are good, and this one should be as well. Fantastic. Okay, so we now have silicon in the rail block. Now we can do uh, electronic components. Which we already have a build for. In fact, we have two. Because we accidentally built one that we don't have the tech for yet. need some more assembly machines. Why is there no recipe on this? Oh. Wait. Oh, this is the more advanced one. Whoops. Let's fix that real quick. Uh, we want basic electronics. It, it's the second one I made, but I put it to the left. I don't suppose I have a big container. Also, it looks like these uh, wiring will not be connected. Did I not? Oh, I made a warehouse. Uh, damn it. Okay. Let's just go and pick some stuff up, including bulk rail loaders. I'll drop off what I can this trip. Let's do that. Why does it seem like you're building an entirely new base on another planet instead of Nalvis? Uh, that's because that's what I'm doing. Kappa Beast, Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As for why we're doing that, uh, basically our spaceship journeys are going to be shorter in future. And there's more different types of resource on this planet as well. Alright, let's go get what we need for a storehouse, not a warehouse. And I've already got the concrete actually. Uh, what do I need? Steel, basically. Why don't we have steel in here? Oh, because we're totally out of steel. That would probably explain it. I would solve that problem by doubling the amount of spaceships. That's what I did last time, and our UPS got rather low. Uh, but the spaceship journeys are going to be rather short this playthrough because we're going to be exploiting um, Boanestra, the anomaly. Uh, we're also going to have generic 
spaceships that react to, uh, that are dispatched to various uh, outposts. So just like LTN, we don't have to say, do we have enough iron trains? Do we have enough copper trains? We just have to ask if we have enough trains, solids and fluids. UPS problem, upgrade PC. There are limits to that. It, you really can just scale Factorio indefinitely until you find the bottlenecks of whatever PC you throw at it. Do I need anything else? Uh, I need assemblers and bulk rail loader. Besides which, I definitely can't throw just any PC at the problem myself. Uh, assembly machines. Gimme, gimme. It was satirical? Okay. Freaking uranium mine every time. Every time I try to fly through here. Anti-aircraft uranium. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Factorio is a single core game. Yeah, that's kind of surprising, considering how much is happening in parallel. We need red inserters, also yellow inserters. Liquid nitrogen run core at 8 gigahertz. I think it would be difficult to concentrate on the game if you're doing liquid nitrogen. I've, I've seen how that's done. It is not a passive, automated process. Uh, we need inserters. Red inserters and yellow inserters. Where are the yellows? Do we have yellows? We have one yellow. That's not enough yellow. Um, we're trying to make a hundred multi-cylinders. What are we up to? 84? I guess I could allow it. Do we have, uh, I'll, I'll take the burner inserters and that'll make handcrafting the rest a lot easier to say the least. How many yellows are missing over here? All of them? 37. Uh, we're painfully close. What am I missing here? Small electric and automation core. Are we making... yeah, a small electric over here. Automation core. This is the trouble with the botless build. Uh, we surely have automation cores. No? I think we ran out. Okay then. We'll steal some small electrics, and for automation core we need copper. Probably need copper cable actually. Can I just take this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We still need copper? Automation core. Apparently it was just not enough. Do I have iron? Uh, I probably don't have iron. Give me the iron. That's in ingot form. Wait, I can handcraft from ingots, can't I? I was thinking about this before. That I should carry ingots. Iron... Light. No, I don't think I can hand... Oh! Yeah, I can. Does that mean... It doesn't... Why can't I handcraft automation core right now? It still says copper? Oh, it actually does need copper plate. Derp. Well, there's your problem. Oh, 
Oh, we actually finished handcrafting those inserters as well. That's how much faster it is if you start with burner inserters. Okay, we are missing just a handful, I think. 14 and 10. Uh, 14... How's our auto crafter doing? It's waiting on steel again. Mm, let me switch this off. See how that goes. How's our steel doing? Still no coke. Oh, coke is cup. Wait, what? We've got a million coke. You're joking. So what is the problem here? I have... I have the wrong, the wrong filter on this fast loader. That's why we have no steel. Oh, that hurts a little bit. What's our rate for steel here? 30 per second is quite good, though. Um, well, it will be... A little while still before we get steel back in the mall. What can we do in the meantime? And more importantly, is this at least a slightly functional build? Plastic? Oh yeah, this is going to be... Oh, we need glass. Oh! Oh, I forgot we, we need glass. Because I thought... Yeah, we need three of these things and we've got lithium, but lithium isn't until we have the tech later. Okay, how do we make glass again? I don't think we have a build for it, do we? In the rail network, that is. We do not. Six pairs of feet. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Interesting name. Let's have a look at... We'll, we'll spend some time as our resources are catching up doing some design. That'll work out. I should check on our power though. We still have 50k steam. Which means we wasted some of the uranium. Uh, whoops. That's my bad. That's that's a little mistake by me. We've got enough uranium fuel cells to replace it as well. I might just take one of our very precious few... Uh, on second thought. I was going to say... I might take one of our precious few robo chests, but I think we could probably fit a belt across here. How far does it reach? Oh, it's going to be close. No! Okay. We'll grab some robo, uh, robo chests. I knew a person named Commotion Sock. Maybe they would get along well. <laughs> Indeed. Where did I put the 2x2 two two passive provider chests? Here they are. I just need a couple. Need some room in my inventory as well. And then I need one... Uh... Oh, these should be request chests. What am I saying? That's a derp. It's actually the train, at, the train side that only needs a provider. Uh, Alright. 
chest. We have eight buffer chests that we could use. I'm not using these two, I'll just grab them. And we need a passive provider, and a roboport, and some Logibots. I'm sure one Logibot will keep up with this. There's our passive provider chest. There we go. Why do we have three passive provider chests on the ground here? What? I don't understand. Uh, okay, lucky bots. And... Unfortunately, we can't do a shared chest on each side like this. Hmm. I guess I could use a splitter. splitter right now. Let's just handcraft. Oh my god, that's so many steps. Okay, fine. We'll do it this way. And undergrounds. And same thing on the opposite side. And then this to happen simultaneously, so I'll get rid of that robo part for a sec. Uranium fuel cell. That'll keep us in power indefinitely. Oh, speaking of which, here's some more U-235. We can make a whole five more fuel cells. Fantastic. Okay. Back to whatever it is we're doing. Class. Now that that's all sorted. Uh, how do we make glass in a furnace with sand? And there's really no other way as far as we're concerned for now. Uh, industrial furnaces. Okay, cool. We can borrow from ourselves for this. I think we did update steel. No, steel has two inputs. I haven't updated any of these. How about we borrow from iron? And we're looking for sand. Uh, a couple of train loads. Should be fine. What's this for? Oh, that was uh, putting some iron in without the train network. Also, I should probably fix this. Can I remove, uh, turn that around remotely? Oh, I did actually. Hmm, it looks like we're not prioritizing this mine. Yeah, that's fine. 
Let's go pick that up. Okay. So we are doing plus. Let's have a look at the rates. 48 per second. And 96 per second in. That'll be fine with the belts that we've got. Why is there like one piece of blue belt here? Well, because I ran out of red. Uh, why don't we just make it blue belt? And this is... Send Requesto. Making glass in a industrial furnace. And here we have glass provider. Whoops. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's test it real quick. Oh, we've got red uh, loaders here. Whoops. Hmm. I think our bulk rail loaders can't keep up. Well, how fast does the input need to be? 96 per second. Yeah, that might actually be a problem. Oh, there's no power. That's why. I fell for it again. Yeah, that'll be fine. This looks kind of weird. Can we maybe... tidy that up a bit? Probably because it, it was probably that way because of red belts. Seems good. Why is this saturated but this isn't? It's not actually having a problem with it. Doesn't seem like it. What's the individual rate here? Two and four per second. We might actually need stack inserters uh, for the input. Nope. Oh, that's with stack size three on this side, though. On the in the editor extensions area. Yeah, I'm sure if it was stack size two, it wouldn't keep up. Alright, so stackies for input, and all of a sudden the belt just... oh, right. And I think that's it. Blueprint that, check the station name first. Uh, 8624 is our snap to grid. Oh, I see glass. I don't need to search. Basic glass. And we've got that same layout where we can add beacons easily later on. Uh, I guess I'll put it here somewhere. Even though it's not that advanced. Okay, so glass is... It would be ideal if I could put it here, but... 
I don't think that build is quite going to fit. I don't suppose we could... Nah. Can't quite get rid of all that Cryonite. Do I even want to worry about Cryonite? Because... We're getting the powder so much from just a little bit of coal mining. And it doesn't... The need for Cryonite, at least based on last playthrough, uh, doesn't scale very much until later on. Cryonite powder... Oh, we're putting it all into storage, I forgot. Still, it's actually not that fast. Maybe we should mine the cryonite. But we'll end up... We'll end up throwing it into... Um, into the bin, if I don't... If I'm not careful. Let's see. Cryonite drop-off is here. Encoded network ID 1. I think I just have to make the... Well, the problem is... I decided to store cryonite rod as opposed to cryonite powder. Because of the stack density. Because we very easily filled up on cryonite powder a while ago. But... Cryonite rods are going to be made from cryonite that comes from infinite and finite resources. So I probably should store cryonite powder down here instead. Hmm... So that we can distinguish between the cryonite powder that comes from an infinite source and doesn't. Which means I'd need to empty this. It's not that big of a uh, problem. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first of all, I'm still trying to decide where to put our glass, which is why I thought about mining the cryonite. Uh, where are we doing electronic components? I think I'll just put it next to the electronic components. Oh, we're, we're turning quart, uh, silicon into glass, right? So let's give the train the shortest trip possible. And that's also still a pretty short trip for the electronic components. Ah! Okay, we need a uh, rail. We've got rail wherever. Let's go pick it up. Is this train okay? Oh no. I forgot to tell LTN that we've got lubricant. Uh, we can fix that pretty easily. This one's going to empty a little bit slower, to say the least. I should have looked before I leapt there. Uh, I definitely want room to a pump here, and there's just enough. There's probably another lubricant train on the way. Or not. There's our steel. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. In fact, we've almost got another train load. Okay, let's make room for some rail. And start building our new block. I 
every time with that uranium. Oh, I've run out of delivery cannon chests. Uh, can I make them easily enough? Pretty much. Just need to have some concrete. Uranium every time, indeed. It always sneaks up on me, because that's exactly when I take a sip or I'm not paying attention or something. Now we need blue belt. And delivery cannon chest. Oh, I forgot to remove these from the blueprint. We can do that with no trouble. Okay, that should be glass, good and functional. Uh, what are we waiting for? It's literally just sand, right? Yeah. So why is it... Oh no, don't tell me we're out of sand. Uh-oh. Sand. We don't quite have three quarters of a train load here. What about our stone to sand block? Oh, here we go. No, we've got tons of sand, actually. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Um, bulk rail loader not balancing these so well after all. That is, taking from the delivery cannon chests. How do you deal with multiple stations, just one after another on the same rail? Uh, I'm not sure if I exactly understand the question. Jelly the Bean, good to see you again, though. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. So... How did it get this imbalanced? I've seen... I, I've watched the bulk rail loaders take from chests not quite evenly, and I thought, ah, that's acceptable, but looking at this, I just don't know how that happened. I assume he means if the back train empties before the forward train, it can't get out. Uh, yeah, the trains uh, can go out. Well, I think with these signals set up the way they are, they can't actually leave uh, through the other station. But the trains are bi-directional, so it's fine. In general, one train per ingredient. Yeah, for pickup, definitely. Uh, for drop-off, we can do up to, say, six or seven ingredients, physical ingredients, uh, solid, that is, with no issues. So how balanced is this steel? It's very balanced. I don't understand how the sand got so imbalanced. Well, it'll probably sort itself out. Are you paying on a mod because the biome looks different? Uh, no? Wait, what? Oh, are you, uh, uh, is the biome different because of a mod? Yeah, uh, the... Alien Biomes is included in Space Exploration. Alright, so that's our silicon. And this is our glass. We don't have sand. We do have sand coming. Fantastic. And that means we can finally get electronic components. 
And we can finally, finally, finally do a red circuit build. And after that, I might consider going back to Nalvis. Um, we'll set up a... Uh, We'll set up uh, logistics to bring stone to this planet. And maybe one or two other things, we'll see. But, I don't know, we might be able to get by on the stone we've got here. Suvasis Hadhikari, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I forgot to get more industrial furnaces, but that's okay. Uh, time to design red circuits at last. We didn't already do it, right? No, we're good. Let's put down rail block. And advanced circuits. There's only... Wait, what? Uh, there's only two ways to make them. One of which is recycling a substation. So, two to two to one is our ratio for resources input. Hmm, how slow is it? I'd love to do a sushi build. How slow is it? Whoops. Uh, you know what? We've got plenty of room. I should just do double belt input. Actually, if it's that slow, it's easy to do two belts here. Well, we'll have a look. Uh, only 18 per second. 36 and 36 and 18 in is 90 per second, or two blue belts. Just testing out the reward? Uh-oh. Uh, and then we need... What would the sushi belt look like? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can't actually fit the ratio that we want here. Yeah, I think I'll just do... Oh, I might need a bigger chest anyway. If we're going to do half belt. this a bit further, and we could have long arms picking up the electronic components. Uh oh, it's a bunk, it's a bunk train. Uh, not actually going to be able to fit, why don't we do the inputs on the opposite side? I have long feared this day. Put that one over there. <laughs> Try not to let the bonks get to you. Uh, how much input did I say we needed? Nope. Two blue belts. Yeah, so four red belts is fine. side like so uh what am i 
doing? That's the output side. I live next to a train station. 2,150 people are without power on the other side of the train station. And not yourself. Lucky. Uh, let's put red belt here. And red belt here. That should have been long arms. And then red belt here. I'm pretty sure we're going to get less than a belt out of this. Oh yeah. Way less than a belt. One off if that's red. Feels bad. And delivery cannon chest. I've actually got plenty here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need... One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna need some belt merging like so. And then just electronic components on this side. And that's almost symmetrical. Of course, it's because of the wide area beacon that it's not. I don't think we're going to be able to fit basic beacons here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Do you use loaders? Uh, yes, they come with Crestorio too. Energex has reported an unknown outage. Oh. Let's get some substations up here. Not quite reach both sides. I think I'm going to need three. Actually, let's put the beacon back in case. Whoops. Autosave. Autosave is a lot faster since we trimmed Nalvis. Funny how that works. Uh, and this is going to be electronic components. And uh, electronic circuit copper cable. I forgot we usually do copper cable somewhere uh, on site. Um, yeah, we don't have a build for copper cable specifically. How much do we need? 36 per second or 18 for each side. Which is... This is going to be outside of the beacon though. per second. It's one third of what we need. No, it's not. It's uh, it's two thirds of what we need. Can you please show the rail grid you use a bit? Is it four lanes? Uh, it is two lanes. So, uh, one way drive on the straight rail. Uh, but on the roundabouts, we can go clockwise or counterclockwise. And that allows me to have trains. Uh, this whole thing is a train station. I don't need a big loop or something like that. Uh, and we can also have the trains come off this way. So it's very, very easy to find a spot uh, to put a train station. 
we can actually fit eight train stations in a block uh, quite easily. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, should I do copper cable somewhere else, or... It's not that it's, uh, any less stack efficient. It's just usually... It's more belt efficient, if that makes sense. But we're not using belts that much. Uh, let's see, copper cable goes into electronic circuits, of course. Wait, it goes into green circuits too fast. Wow, it goes into a lot of stuff. Uh, it goes into green circuits too fast to build it elsewhere. So I would literally just be doing it for red circuits. I don't really want to do that. But we need 3 to 12. Okay, fine. We'll do it this way. And obviously the input-output is going to change a bit here. Let's just get rid of those until we know what we're doing. Let's see, fast inserter at least. And I guess we're not doing the belt merging here. We'll actually make electronic components come out somewhere else. Alright, so copper cable, or rather copper plate, is gonna go here. Figures the train stop would be in the way. Well, that just makes the red belt line up better. Copper plate. And... We need how much? Uh, 27 plus 13.5 is less than a blue belt. Well, we need more than half a blue belt for greens and less than half a blue belt for reds, uh, for electronic components. Hmm. I could probably do it something like this. Yeah, that probably works. Just have half a belt on each side for each. Okay, so... Can we output with a long arm inserter? Not really. Alright. Let's do this with the other two inputs, and we'll make this side our uh, copper cable, although that's kind of messing up the ratios. I mean, the ratio on the belt isn't going to match. So we could maybe... Maybe do it something like... Like what? 
Fast inserters are enough? Uh, I think they are for now. I could always use loaders. I think it would be a little easier if I illustrate what we want with this. So let's see. Electronic circuit. Uh, copper cable. And electronic component. If we put the cable like so, then we can just put green circuits on this half belt. And electronic components can come out this way. Seems good. Hmm. A fast inserter is definitely enough for direct insertion, but you might have a point there. Let's just use loaders. Okay, so this... This is going to be electronic components. circuit goes on... that's not right. Let's just do this. On the inside of this belt. So we're gonna have something like this. Copper cable goes here. Copper plate, rather. So this will be EC. And then we begin testing. And components. some power. And where's our... Oh, I forgot. Copper plate, not copper cable. Copper plate. And copper cable. Fast in... Uh, yes. Okay. Now we need some power down here. Is it possible to fit small beacons into a build that looks kind of like this? Oh, I think it is. Or at least here it is. Why don't we have green circuits down here? Fantastic. Now, if we were to try to baby beacon the rest, I don't know how that would work with the input inserters. I'm just not going to worry about it.
Alright, and substations are gonna go... I don't know. Here... This one can't reach the inserters in the middle. And here. Okay, that is definitely sticking out across the middle of the build. Or the middle of the block, rather. So I might want to move it over a couple of tiles. But other than that... Uh, we're not getting copper here. That's a problem. Let's move it over a little bit. I'll put this here so that we can see where it was vertically. It's only the power that's actually peeking into the half block, uh, the other half of the block, so maybe I won't, just won't worry about that. This is a lot neater, anyway. Maybe a splitter here. Are the machines all working? They are not. Because this goes here, actually. Double check our ratio. Oh, we're actually positive on copper cable? I thought this was exactly zero. Well, we would be negative on copper cable if I had one less machine. So that's as good as it gets. Which means that should be reaching the end of the belt with relative ease. I-M-H-O, it's bad. You bend. How dare you. I'm gonna go home and cry. Wait, I am home. It's fine. Uh, I think we're done. Let's just set up the wiring and such. And circuit. Third row of assembly should be red circuits. Third row. What do you mean by that? Third row... Oh, oh, I see. Dark. I just need to move this up a bit. And on this side as well. here, and not here, and not here, and fantastic. No wonder it was having trouble reaching the end of the belt. We go. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Now this one should be struggling to output most of the time. That's to be expected. OK, 
Okay. All our little reds churning along. Fantastic. Let's put a underground here. For some reason we have copper cable in here, but that's fine. This is just the testing area. Uh, I just realized a big mistake. Well, not that big. It's not that difficult to fix. But because we've got multiple inputs here, we can't just use a delivery cannon chest. Okay, so loader, 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 and one further down actually, because we need a regular bit of belt to do some circuit logic on. And filters, electronic circuit, uh, what was the other thing? Electronic components is here. Oh, and copper cable. So this is copper plate. Electronic component, whoops. Alright, so that's our filters, and we need to set this to, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as there's some gaps left over, but since we have 256 stacks, let's say 80 stacks each. Uh, 16k... and electronic components stack to what exactly? 100, so 8k. Uh, this should actually go here. I think I had it backwards. Alright, and then we just need to filter our outputs again. So, copper plate will go here. I said copper plate. And over this way. Damn it, really doesn't want to fit neatly, does it? You really don't want to deliver copper cables? No, this this is this would be pretty much the only build where we deliver copper cables from somewhere else. Otherwise I would do it. Uh and then we need green circuits. and electronic components. Green circuit. Over here. And we can probably get away with just one belt for the electronic components very easily actually. So I think I put this here. How am I going to fit it? Maybe this goes over here. That doesn't actually help anything. We'll just have to... Where am I going? I 
about this? That could definitely be neater. Let's delete that and confirm it works. Delete all of that, confirm it works. What? Oh, I see what happened here. Nice. circuit wire for LTM. We are going to be requesting a couple of train loads of green circuits, copper cape, uh, copper plate, and electronic components. And we are requesting them because we want to make uh, advanced circuits. Beautiful. Alright, so this is going to go here. That's already powered. That seems okay. Green circuits missing an underground? Indeed. And that'll do. I wouldn't worry too much about fitting it to beacons for this one, since we've got two steps in the chain in one place. Oh, and we need to make sure this doesn't overfill. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, blueprint. Uh, advanced circuits, basic advanced, let's just go that so it's a bit more readable, 8624 is our snap 2, we don't need an infinity accumulator, uh, I messed up the snap. 86.24, there we go. Perfect. Let's put that into our builds down here. And get to building it in the actual game. Where do I want to put it though? Probably right next to uh, electronic components. Or even here? No wait, green circuits, copper plate is up here for now, and I think I'll put it closer to the mall this time. It'll make it a little easy to build as well. Not that this is a tricky one. Amenbra? 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. rail any faster. There we go. Need some more big poles as well. Ultra Nova, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like that's about the end of our rail for now. some actually. Oh, we needed a four by warehouse. Also need a lot more red. Uh, apparently my bots are very upset with me. Okay. We've got plenty of red belt and they're not placing it. Yeah, it's just power. Speaking of power, how's our build over here going? Uh, not that... Oh, yes, no, that's good. We have... Uh, I just realized, um, we're gonna have to change the circuitry a little bit if these guys are gonna pick up from a belt. We're gonna go read hand contents hold. On the output, that might be enough by itself. It probably will. And not a moment too soon, we're actually out of steam. So once the uh, used up uranium fuel cell is ready to be taken out, if steam is low enough, we will pick up if steam is below 45k, it might be a little excessive, considering how slowly we've been consuming it. Let's say steam is below 10%. Uh, once we do pick up a used up uranium fuel cell, read hand contents hold, and that'll enable these inserters to pick up one each. Five ticks is enough, normally, for fast inserters to pick something up off a belt. I'm sure a yellow inserter read hand contents hold will be long enough for these to pick up exactly one. I'd like to witness it and make sure it works. Just gotta make sure I check back there in a couple of minutes. Uh, we need one storehouse. We need some bulk rail unloaders. We need some rail. I need a fast splitter. And I need a delivery cannon chest, actually. Which means steel. Uh, let's see. Bulk rail... Unloader. Uh, some steel. Delivery cannon chests. Need radars. Automation cores. I'm sure we have those automated here. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's make more of them. And I'd noticed we were struggling to make express loaders. Why is that? Oh, don't tell me. No? I'll have a look next time. How's our power? We are getting close to the time it should switch over. Actually, if I just look back here and find that it's cycled to the next... Uh, 
uranium fuel cell for each one. That should be more than enough to know that it's working. Uh, delivery cannon chest. And what's missing now? Heat shield. I don't need another one at this moment, but I would like to have a few. Alright, oh, and I almost forgot. We need a storehouse. That means more steel. Okay. Bots went on a trip. Uh, I also ran out of assembly machines. But we could make this barely functional at least. Assembly machines... Fast inserters, or stack inserters rather. Oh, okay, all kinds of inserters, let's just say that. And... Oh, we need to run out of steam first. Okay. If it's not working, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, assembly machines. Fantastic. Inserters. That's a lot of fast inserters, actually. Stack. Long arm. And regular inserter. Somehow we don't have those. We don't have iron plate? What? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me automation core comes before the iron uh, stick, rather. In the arbitrary... Oh, no, I switched this off. It's my fault. Okay, good to know. Right then. Uh, we've got everything except for... Yellow inserters. Can I take the burner inserters? How do we not have burner inserters? Screw it. I'm just going to use fast inserters where there should be yellows. It's fine. And then we need some more rail. Sure, we don't mess anything up here. Uh, I need another splitter. Make exactly one. I need two more actually. What am I missing? Iron. How do you have no path? Oh, you're trying to go to red circuits. That's fine. Can we have a splitter? Uh, apparently not, because I had the audacity to queue five at once. But we haven't actually had the delivery yet of electronic components, because we don't have any. What are we missing? Glass. Uh, why don't we have glass yet? Because there's no sand? 
Didn't we have a delivery for sand ages ago? Oh no. Oh wow, what is going on? With sand in particular, it's always really imbalanced. Does it make, does it somehow end up balancing worse if there's a train at the station at the time? I wonder. I could just limit the, uh, limit the storage size of these. Alright, let's see exactly what happens here. We got 23k on each side. Seems to be loading just as fast. No, it's staying perfectly balanced this time. Still, if a train was waiting for that long, it does suggest we're having stone problems. Uh, we are not having stone problems, actually. We've got most of a million here. Oh, maybe we need more trains at this point. Yeah, we probably need some more trains. Well, it's still balanced. Yeah, I don't know how this happened before. How's our steam? 38k. Gives us a bit of an idea how fast we're consuming it. Which is to say, relatively quickly. Alright, uh, I also need to pick up some more furnaces so that we can get uh, well, not so that we can get anything, just so that the glass build is finished. There's our quartz and we've completely full on silicon already. Uh, let's see, advanced circuits goes here. Uh, glass goes here, or rather is produced here. We should start mining holmium at some point, holmonite. Oh, we've got we don't have enough trains. I definitely set this provide threshold higher than this. And we're definitely requesting... Whoops. Uh, I don't think a delivery cannon chest is ideal for this one. Let's just cobble something together in a hurry. Uh, let's see, what have I got? Fast loaders? And... Uranium. Uranium. And steel. Why am I dying? Ow, stop it. This up here and I guess this will do. It'll work anyway.
That'll at least make sure all the resources get there. Now then, class. Fantastic. What else are we missing? Nothing? We need electronic components, which needs glass. Oh yeah, we need some more inserters over here. I think I'm carrying them. There we go. Uh, apparently we need more long arms. How many more do we need? Just five, actually. And that'll be it. So we're just waiting on glass now. We're just waiting on sand, which it actually has. And... We definitely don't have enough trains. That is... Two and a half train loads of glass. And there's no glass in the way here. Just double check that it's configured correctly. Yes, yes it is. Okay, let's make ourselves some more trains. Ah, uranium got me again. Uh, don't suppose we can have the auto mole make that? It's easy enough to make by ourselves. Actually, the locomotives are a big pain, I forgot. What do locomotives need? Pretty basic, actually. Let's put it here. Locomotive. Uh, cargo wagon. And fluid wagon. There's no glue belt. Because... Because express belt becomes... Comes before blue belt. Oh no. Okay, I can't really put express loader on this thing unless I add... Yet another rule. Crestorio 2, uh, really really makes this more of a problem. Normally there's like one or two things in the entire series uh, of things that we craft with this where we need a we need some rules for uh Prerequisites. Okay, that should work. Now then. Uh, I guess we're set to make belts before we make trains as well. So I'll handcraft these this time. Need some multi cylinder engines, most of all. And I also need steel. And then one more. One more again. Iron gears. Give me the iron gears. Do we really not have them in here? We have zero iron gears. Okay, give them back. Uh, locomotive. There we go. Some belts for your production of uranium cell are broken? Is that so? Oh. There's still a bit of U-238 on that belt. And at the bottom here as well. Is that what we're referring to? Looks like it. 
I do need a moment for the locomotives to craft anyway. I uh, need room in my inventory. And... Put this off here. Fantastic. The fuel for your nuclear power. The fuel for my nuclear power. You mean this? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, good point. Uh, is this going to reach up here? We'll find out. Let's drop that off. Fantastic. And how is our fuel supply doing? Hard to say, because we can't really see how much we've got. But it looks like we're accumulating nuclear fuel, which is the main thing. But that's only going to last until we've run out of storage space for 238, because we don't have Coverex. Because Coverex is cruelly put behind production signs. Uh, it really is a bit over the top. How much is behind getting a few planets going in this version. Alright, we've got our trains, mostly. Let's make sure we're not going to have any visitors while we place them. Uh, does this go this way? Yes, it does. I think I queued up enough for four. Nope, it was two. Even so, two more will help. Sand is pretty much balanced. It's about as balanced as I usually expect these to be. It's definitely not looking massively lopsided like it was before have to keep an eye on that. How long does it take one minute to handcraft a locomotive? Ouch. Uh, how's our auto crafting doing here? No locomotives yet. Not that I expected them. We're really getting past the point where one machine is enough. How soon until we can start thinking about getting utility science packs? Uh, we need to go to space is the main thing. We've got our cryonite rods. We can't. We can only do machine learning data and thermofluid in space. It's not like we're going to have a space elevator here for a while. Um. Cargo rocket. All the things that go into a cargo rocket. Well, as far as we're concerned, it is cargo rocket section. Heat shield LDS we're delivering here. Um, I think cargo pods and rocket fuel tanks we could actually do now if we wanted to. So that just leaves the rocket control unit. Uh, which requires battery. So actually, as soon as we do batteries on this planet, uh, which we could probably do now-ish. Yeah, we can do batteries. Cool. Um, as soon as we get a block for batteries, we can get some basic cargo rockets going. Uh, I think we'll do that tomorrow. That'll be our goal. Get into Hagen orbit. And get the bare minimum together to get some utility science packs. And I think that's what we need for logistics. Uh, for the bots. 
250 utility science packs is all we need. I brought a bunch of lower tier science cards, uh, tech cards. We'll have to make the space science on the spot, I think. Um, that's fine. Utility science packs, we only need 250. And then we can make a, a much nicer mole. Okay, that'll be the goal for tomorrow, I think. Uh, do these have fuel? Yes, they do. Fantastic. Not going to forget to turn those on. Because if I come back another day, I'll definitely forget to turn those on. Uh, okay. Let's see who's streaming Factorio for today. We got Mucky. Wow, it's quiet today. I thought my numbers were a bit lower than usual, but uh, everyone's numbers are much lower than usual. Repair the tracks? Wait, what? What happened to the tracks? What happened to the tracks? Speaking of repairs, okay, we do have our media defense working. That's good to know. Take care, Majagus. Thanks for hanging out. Your new build of locomotives. Oh, right. Thank you. Repair. That's not quite the word I would have chosen, but yes, you're correct. You had me worried. The track's in the depot, indeed. Thanks, guys. Let's do a save right here. Uh, who should we raid, though? We've got Mucky and friends are doing their... Cities of Earth stuff. I've raided them a few times. Well, I think only once lately, but Andy Game is doing SEK2. Or we've got a speedrun. I usually try to put people onto what they're already watching. Might fall into a food coma. Sounds good. Uh, Memzy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's drop in on Andy Gaming, since that's the only thing resembling K2SE, and it is actually K2SE. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. If you're interested, check out the Discord and the Blueprints. Uh, there's also some more Blueprints on the Discord. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, till next time, stay safe. See you next time, Jelly. Come on, dude. How's you doing? <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh! Jax with the raid. What's up, everyone? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? What I'm... the fuck is that? <laughs> I saw.